Good evening. Or well, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. <laughs> I hope everyone's doing well. It's been a couple of days since I last got on. Um, looks like there's been a bit of an update as well in the last couple of days. Something seems a bit different with our um, HUD and stuff there, but um, maybe I should have checked. <laughs> If you were, maybe we should have checked the Discord first um, <laughs> to see exactly uh, what's happened, um, what changes have been made, whether it's going to affect us in some way or other. But we are getting on as Miguel tonight. Um, this is a district that we don't normally play on as Miguel. Um, or I say district, but yeah, this is the server that we don't always play on as Miguel. <clears throat> We're going to have to get back into the, uh, the feeling of uh, doing his voice, you, you know, a little bit like this. Got to uh, try to make sure we don't go, you know, into Cliff. <laughs> into this man called uh, Clifford. Cliff, Cliff Martin, I believe is his name. But yeah, we don't, uh, we don't want to slip into, uh, into this accent. So yeah, hopefully we, uh, we don't do that. And we, uh, we find some people to talk to and maybe do a little bit of hunting and you know do some delivery work for uh, Miss Valentine oh there's fucking gloves I always forget these fucking gloves are right here I always have to get rid of the glove right here let's get rid of those we save that like that and now we are good to go now we are proper Miguel you know we uh, with the gloves you know, we are Miguel for the uh, we are Miguel for the winter, but uh, without the glove, we are uh, Miguel for the summer, like that. But yeah, um, so Miguel, uh, we haven't played him for a little while, and um, I've been missing, I've been missing him as well. Um, I can't even remember, you know, what we what we've got in terms of um, money and stuff on him. Um, obviously, we've got nothing on us right now. Hello, Akshay Nawab, I believe, is that? I hope I haven't just butchered your name, but um, welcome. Welcome to uh, to the chat and welcome to the uh, stream. This is our character, Miguel Sanchez, who um, seems... Has he got eyebrows? He has got eyebrows. It looked for a second like he didn't have eyebrows. Um, I'm good, thank you. I um, hope you're well. Uh, I believe we're going to have to do a little bit of playing around um, with uh, a saddle for Miguel because. Um, Join me. Hey, Chansu. Hey, thank you for the follow, actually. We're. Um, Gonna have to. Oh yeah, shit. Actually, we we need to call our horse first before we can do any of that, don't we? Ah, uh, Yoda love. I'm gutted, Chansu. I'm I'm really genuinely gutted. If um ah, there's Flash. There's this tail. right there. My beautiful horse. My beautiful silver silver Tuckaman. <laughs> Oh, did you spam um, several emotes and then it like shifted up or whatever? <laughs> um, right, so we need to we need to get some tack for Miguel because he's not the type to wa wander around bareback on a horse. Um, <laughs> uh, please, please say that there's no, there's no fucking damn it! Oh shit, yeah, we need to. I was going to just check out which one we were going to get. I think we were going to go with like the deluxe one. I can't remember if it was... I remember which one it would have been. I think it was going to be maybe that one or that one. Because um, the Charo one's kind of like the only South American style of saddle left now. Stay happy and stay blessed, brother. Yeah, you too, man. Um, or woman. I don't know. <laughs> I always, I'm terrible because I like, I seemingly like assume people's gender a lot. Um, 
But yeah, it's just the way I talk. I always say man or dude or yeah. Should just be like peeps. Right, we need to go and get um. We need to go and get our now our reins have disappeared as well. <laughs> um, we need to get our um some money out of the bank so that we can buy Miguel a saddle because there are no Vaquero saddles anymore. That's a shame. They've they've totally got rid of um they totally got rid of Vaquero saddles. Um, seems like a few player horses and stuff outside the doors here. Um, Sir, good morning. Uh, good morning to you. I hope you're uh, you're doing well there, my friend. You are always uh, you always seem to be sitting right here on the good porch. Morning, you don't uh, you don't seem to move from this place much, my friend. You crowd me so. All right, okay, no problem. You know, I'm just going to go and uh, go in the bank here. Is that okay with you, sir? Are you are you okay with that? Ah, good. Right. Okay. No problem with you. No problem with me. Right. Let me uh, have a look at how much money we have right here. Ah, oh, we have less money on Miguel than we do on Clifford. That is uh, quite impressive. <laughs> we got we got less money on Miguel, our sort of more grey area type of character who just tries to make money any way that he can, than we do on um, Cliff, um, our other our alt character. <laughs> uh, let's take out. What do we think? I think 75 well, I don't know, actually. I think $75 should do it. I think if we end up spending more than that, I'll be disappointed in myself. Um, <laughs> I'll be very disappointed. Oh, can we... We can't jump on him from the side, I forget. What's our... Um, Oh, it's good that that shows you the the voice distance now down in the bottom corner as well. Because I think some people do forget like that they're on like 15 or 32. Good morning there, my friend. Or, it, no, it's actually evening, right? How you doing, friend? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad, my friend. Uh, how are you? Ah, doing good. Uh, we've met before, haven't we? Um, maybe, maybe. And, uh, what is your name again? I'm afraid I've uh, been uh, away for a little while back uh, back in Argentina, but... Ah, uh... Uh, I see. My name's Tommy. Oh, Tommy, right. Uh, yeah, we probably did meet once, maybe. Uh, my name's Miguel, Miguel Sanchez. Miguel Sanchez. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm, okay. <clears throat> yeah, m maybe sounds familiar. I, I honestly can't remember right. Yeah, I uh, meet uh, quite a few people, you know. Uh, not always around uh, this area, you know what I mean? Uh, sometimes uh, they're in uh, another district, maybe more more so, but uh, yeah. Ah, uh, I see, I see. What brings you to Rose, friend? Oh, well, actually, I uh, kind of run... Uh, a little bit of a stable up there, uh, you know, just kind of between here and uh, what is it, a place, Emerald Ranch, right there. Oh yeah. There's a yeah. there's a little stable there, so I kind of you know. Oh, sorry, my friend. Let me just move out the way for you. Yeah. Well, hello. But yeah, I uh, I run a little bit of a stable up there, you know, doing the horse breeding and uh, that kind of thing, or you know, trying to uh, trying to do that, but mainly. Uh, yeah, mainly uh, look after horses and, you know, that kind of uh, thing for my line of work. But I uh, was actually going to be doing something a little bit, you know, or uh, not so good, you know what I mean, recently. But uh, my friends have kind of been out of town, so... Uh... Oh, he's one of them bandits? No, no, not a, not a bandit, no, no. Oh, you a shiner then? Uh, not really. I mean, I have experience of making moonshine previously. I, t I tend to earn money however I can, you know what I mean, really? But uh, uh, mainly, okay. uh, mainly I would be uh, hunting, Hello. really, or uh, that kind of thing. But, uh, yeah, you know, if uh, opportunities arise, you know, uh, always uh, open to uh, suggestion, like they say. Ah, uh, okay. Well, uh... 
If you're looking to make a quick buck, well, I guess it ain't quick, but it's a quite, uh, it's not too bad. It'll pay you $44 per trip. It's, uh, there's a wagon delivery up in Ansburg. Oh, It'll take you right, all the way yeah. up to Coulter. You know about that one? Yeah, yeah. Last time, uh, last time I tried this one, uh, didn't go too well, you know. Uh, oh, shit. What happened? Yeah, I kind of, uh, crashed the wagon. <laughs> yeah, it didn't uh, didn't work work too well there for me, but uh, yeah, it'll pay you four to four dollars though if you can make it all in one piece. Yeah, yeah, probably will uh, give this a try. I think maybe uh, sometime, but uh, I'm going to uh, I need to buy a new uh, saddle for my horse here. Uh, someone seemed to have stolen my Baccaro saddle. Oh shit! Hmm. Yeah, and it, it's kind of uh, kind of uh, how they say pissed me off right there because. The Vaquero saddle is like my, it was my best saddle, you know, Order. someone take it away from me without me realizing and now, uh, oh, shit. yeah, I come, uh, come back to uh, find my, my Desteo here, uh, without, uh, without a saddle and, uh, it kind of pissed me off really. Yeah, you have to visit a horse tack. Uh, there's a livery right over there by that stables. I don't know if you've browsed their, their inventory yet. No, I was uh, I was just going to stop by there actually uh, to uh, to see what they have because uh, yeah I need I need yeah, something ready. Yeah, uh, well you got some money in your pockets because it's gonna cost you some. Hello. Yeah, I took out a little bit of money. Hopefully, I've got enough for uh, for what I'm going to maybe try and find. But uh, yeah, I was really kind of uh, sad to see they uh, they don't. Uh, I don't think they have the Caro saddle there anymore. Oh, well, it's, uh, shit. Like a speciality of, uh, you know, South American places. We uh, Where I'm mm -hmm. from, from Argentina, we, uh, a lot of people, we have, uh, we have the Caro saddle because, uh, you know, it's a premium, like, beautiful saddle also. It have the, the cover for your stirrup, so you, you don't get the branch through your stirrup and you, you get, uh, thrown off your horse you know if you're going through bushes and sometime you mm. you'll get your you get your feet caught and then your your horse kind of stop and you carry on you know what i mean yeah yeah now vaquero means cowboy doesn't it uh no that's uh caballero oh, oh okay well i think but yeah, is that vaquero, uh, oh, so yeah yeah in in here i believe is it in there yeah, I'm not sure if you can, uh, if you do it through the window, maybe, but, uh... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we need to, um, we need to get ourselves a new, uh, new saddle, because the Vaquero oh, saddle's, uh, no longer there. I also need yeah. to look at some new saddles myself. Yeah, hopefully not going to be uh, too expensive, really, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Happens if we... Might be easier if we can get off. off, yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea right there. All right, uh, Desteo, let's get you uh, fitted out with a new, uh, new little saddle there. Let's have a, let's have a little look. Well, sorry, horse. So that's fifty-five bucks. That's the majority of the uh, majority of the thing already there. Um, but that is—I'm pretty sure that was the one we were going to go with. Fifty-five. Actually, uh, I think I'm going to take one. this outside where it's a little lighter. I can see what I'm doing. Ah, uh, come back, to stay <laughs> For Fuck's sake. <laughs> this is chaos. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure we have met this guy before. Um but yeah, I uh I don't remember him um I don't remember him that much, if you see what I mean. Let's um let's, let's try and do it from here. Um uh, they're both going. They're both going crazy. Mother Hubbard. Oh, they're all spooked today. Jesus Christ. Yeah, come on, this tail. You're uh, you're usually not this bad. I mean, sometimes he is, but you know. 
Let's try and get him calmed down so he's you not said just like. You work with horses, right? Or you work with horses? Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, you know, a uh, gaucho there in Argentina. Uh, that that's really what the the, the name for uh, you know cowboy down there. I suppose you might say is closest thing there. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, we run. Uh, we used to run a ranch down there, and my my father he took over when uh, when I decided to uh, to come up here to uh, find a place of my own, you know. Oh, I see. I see. There we go. Come, come, Destel. Uh. Right. Let's um. Let's have a little flick I think we through have some here. Folk approaching. Keep your eye out. Good afternoon, fellas. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, thank you, my friend. Uh, just trying to uh, get a saddle here, or get an idea of what a saddle I'd like to buy. Yeah, is that man who just uh, gypsied on out of here? Is he with you? Uh, well, I know him kind of. He's named Tommy, but uh, I All don't. Right, uh... Well, we ain't trying to cause problems. Sorry for rolling up your guns and shit. Yeah, yeah, I think uh, this the horse is getting a little spooked, you know. Yeah, hold on a minute. Let me still listen. Here we go. You, you never uh, know who you roll up on to out here, so. Yeah, yeah, you got the mask for the uh, the dust or. Uh... It's a combination of two things all together for one. Right, right. What is your name, sir? Ah, uh, my name is Miguel. Miguel Sanchez. Miguel, pleasure to meet you. My name's Ethan Cole. All right, good to meet you there, sir. Yes, sir. What brings you out here to roads today? Just getting a saddle? Uh, yeah, just getting saddle. Uh, I usually am um, kind of running like a little business as a... Uh, well, uh, I'm a gaucho from Argentina originally, but uh, yeah, right. I kind of uh, run a stable up there between here and uh, Emerald Ranch. You say uh, you're you, a gaucho? You what it. the hell's a gaucho? Oh, it's like a uh, Spanish word for, uh, uh, how you say, uh, c cowboy right here. All right, all right, all right, it works. But yeah, it, it isn't the only thing I do for, uh, for a living, so to speak, you know, uh, I kind of do whatever... Uh, Whatever is needed, right? To, uh, to You're make a man money. of multiple talents, I hear, yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah. I can uh, I can hunt, I'm a pretty good shot like that. Uh, sometime, uh, sometime I do a little bit, you know, more different work, let's say. Right. But, uh, yeah, most of the time, you know, I try to... Uh, Try to do the uh, the stuff for horses for uh, for people. I try to train horses here and there, if people need uh, you know help with their horse and uh, that kind of thing. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I was kind of disappointed really when I get uh, get it today. You know, uh, I find uh, when I call uh, my horse here Desteo, that uh, he don't have any uh, he don't have his vaquero saddle anymore. So uh, I was be kind a of. Uh, for sure. Yeah, yeah, I was kind of, uh, kind of pissed off, like they say. It's understandable, Mr. Sanchez. Yeah, yeah. Well, please, so, if you see your friend, tell him we did not mean to spook him. Oh, yeah, no problem, no problem. Sorry, oh, what, yes, uh, sir. your name, uh, Ethan, and, uh, what are the, the two people uh, Ruby? here? Ruby. Ruby, good yes. to meet you, Ruby. Uh, they still like you, by the way, he, uh, he, he come right down there. Good, uh, yeah, all good, horses love good me. Karma, karma except uh, except Jesse's. Jesse's horse hates me. And your own. All right. And uh, no, sorry, no, your no, name no, there, no. my friend. Jesse. Oh, you are Jesse. Okay, right. So your your horse hates Ruby. Okay. Well, I can uh, maybe try and help you to train it one time when uh, maybe when I've bought my saddle and everything like that. Uh, oh, he's trained fine. Trust me, he's trained fine. It's not trained. <laughs> <laughs> it's not trained. Jasper's it's kicked, kicked Jesse. Uh... It's kicked Jesse. It's kicked me. It's kicked Ethan. It's not kicked yeah. Ethan. Yes, it did. Yeah, it did. Uh, sure well, did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good boy, and that's why I like him, maybe. Kicks me twice. I put it down. Yeah, I mean, Jasper's oh, Jackal God, I know this guy. I know this guy. Yeah. 
All right, yeah, I mean, uh, this Teo here has kind of done that to a, a lot of people also. I, uh, he, sometimes, it's mainly when he's left to his own device, you know, like standing around and uh, he, he kind of just, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly like this Ruby. Yeah, he, uh, he just, uh, you know, he sees something and he, I think it's to amuse himself, really. He, he kind of like, uh, well, you know, I'm bored. Well, horses so. get frustrated too, you know. Oh yeah, they do indeed, uh, Ethan. Yeah, absolutely. Well, I know you're a busy man. We don't want to hold you up any longer than we have. But if you ever need anything, you look out for them colts, okay? Oh yeah, I will do, will do. And uh, yeah, if uh, if I see you around, uh, you know, maybe in a bar or something, maybe we have a drink or something like that. I like that'd be nice, Mr. Mo Mr. Sanchez. All right. All right. All right. Take care there, my friend, and uh, yeah, I will uh, we'll see you all soon, I uh, I hope. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Stay upright and breathing, buddy. Right. Yeah, will do. Yeah. <laughs> That's Jekyll God. Um, <laughs> I thought for a minute we were gonna get uh, we were gonna get robbed there. Um, but uh, no, he's um, they're all good. So we're trying to like just find a saddle for Miguel. I do quite like that Western Alt one there though. That is quite nice. Um, but it's not really what we're after. We want something that looks kind of kind of fancy almost. Um, Cause the the Vaquero saddles are pretty sort of um, ornate in that sense. Not really a fan of these squared ones. These aren't really doing it for me. Um, uh, even yeah, the deluxe ones are just not not that nice. Um, leg flaps. No. 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 They look bad. Oh no, Carbonite Bandito. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're not, well, we kind of do, Miguel's a gray area character. So like he'll, he'll kind of do whatever, whatever's needed. If you see what I mean to make money, we were kind of dropping a hint to those peeps that we, we kind of do. Um, see, I kind of like, I like this saddle. Mr. Miguel, you all right? Oh yeah, yeah. Hey, Tommy. Those what those fellas want? Oh, they were okay. Yeah, don't uh, don't worry. They are. Uh, they say not to worry about them. You know, they're uh, they didn't mean to alarm anybody. You know, riding up with uh, with guns out for uh, for example. But uh, yeah, just uh, you know, they they were uh, wanting to come over and uh, say hello. I think you know, and just introduce themselves. It was a guy called uh, Ethan. A lady called Ruby and another guy called uh, Jesse. Uh, but yeah, well, they are. Uh, they wearing masks for? Oh well, they say kind of for two reasons, like for the dust in this place, because it does it. It is it do get pretty dusty around here. You know, you get you get covered like my. You see my shirt already getting red from the dust here. Mm, so I, I, I think they just they just don't like to breathe the dust really, but. Uh, I think also maybe to uh, hide their face from uh, you know people they are hunting down maybe I'm not sure what they do really but uh, I don't trust them, not one bit yeah I got no. the fuck out of here I didn't mean to abandon you like that but oh it's no problem I got it's other no priorities problem. yeah no problem there my friend uh, like I say they uh, they seem to be all right and uh, yeah I think you know long as people give each other respect uh, you know it, there don't seem to be too many people, uh, you know, being like banditos, let's say. Hmm. Well, I've been kidnapped many times, even as recently as last night, so I ain't taking no chances. Oh, really? Yeah, and I got a newborn baby daughter, so I ain't gonna die over nothing, over some goddamn stupid bandits. Yeah, yeah, no, I understand, uh, yeah, you're, uh, you're a father, so you know you don't want to get yourself in any kind of trouble, right? Yes, sir. I gotta stay alive for her, <laughs> so I wasn't about to let that shit happen. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm still trying to uh, trying to pick out a cell. We uh, we got <laughs> talking for a little while there, and uh, yeah, the uh, the people, you know, they were interested to see uh, what I was doing and you know what what I do for a living and that kind of thing. So yeah, I just you know explain same to you that I s say to them really. Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, uh, I'm a, also a rancher over at Emerald Ranch. I, uh, I'm a oh, ranch hand there. So if you ever want to get some work uh, put in over at the ranch, you're more than welcome to stop by. Only problem is uh, we don't really pay anything, so it would be more of like a volunteer sort of basis, and we supply you with trade goods and such like. All right. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I... Uh come over and uh, take a look a little bit later on you know I, I need to get uh, my uh, my horse here this day or something uh, you know before uh, it get dark I, I kind of uh, spending the whole day right here doing yes, doing sir, the I saddle attack stuff but I uh, hear you, friend I won't keep you any longer but you just stop by we run a big operation there and we're always in need of some help all right yeah definitely and uh, yeah I'll, I'll catch up with you later on Tommy all right mr. Miguel you take care all right <laughs> we spent like the last what is it? We've been live nearly fifteen, what well, twenty? We've been live nearly half an hour. And we haven't even got a fucking saddle sorted yet. Um, right, let's let's try and rush through this before someone else comes up on us and does try and rob us. Um, <laughs> what do we think, guys? Um, guys, and gals, deluxe five. I like deluxe five in the charros. Um, I think we might go with that one. Um, kind of closest to the sort of South American type of style. Um, so, oh fuck's sake, he's going. He's going again, isn't he? He's going again. God damn it, this there! Stand still, please. I'm trying to buy you a new saddle. Come on, come on, karma, karma. Oh, sorry there, man. No problem. I like one leg. <clears throat> Yeah, I I try not to speak too much uh, Spanish anymore. You know, uh, I'm Argentinian, uh, but yeah, yeah. Sorry, I'm I'm still trying to uh, trying to buy a saddle here for my uh, Desteo. He uh, he kind of have uh, his saddle stolen by somebody. Yeah, it was a really nice ornate uh, vaquero saddle. But uh, yeah, somebody somebody have stolen it, so uh, I'm trying to find a nice one now. But they don't seem to have a uh, vaquero anymore. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It's a beautiful horse. What horse is it? Oh, he is a silver Turkoman. It's very beautiful. Yeah, he uh, he my breeding horse. You know when. Uh, when I can finally find, uh, you know, some people that want to breed uh, their horses, uh, he's going to be the, the stallion right there. He's, he's the, the Turkoman, the, the one of the oldest breed in the world, right? Uh, they, they're responsible maybe for 80% of uh, the, all of the horse breed around. Wow, that is so, so yeah. interesting. But uh, yeah, he, uh, he, he, my, he my favorite thing, you know, my favorite horse. Favorite, uh, favorite. Well, he's not a person, but yeah. Sometimes I feel like he is a person because I talk to him a lot. But uh... oh, I love horses. They're so nice. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, what uh, what is your name? I'm uh, Miguel Sanchez. Effie. Effie. All right. It's a nice name. Thank you. What I meant with language, I meant the swearing. I really like that. Oh, you like uh, you like people to swear? Yeah. All right. That that means they won't tell me to shut up. Yeah. No. I uh, I let you know. I let the world know how I feel a lot of the time. But I I tried not to do it too much in front of the ladies because you know it's not uh, not the gentleman thing to do really. Oh, but I'm not a lady, it's okay. Alright, okay, well, no problem there. <laughs> that basically means that you will not tell me to mind your language. 
No, no, you uh, you do what you uh, want to do, right? I mean, uh, I don't have a problem with our other people language, you know. That's why I like it. <laughs> ah, good, good. Oh, you are uh, over here to uh, get a saddle also? I was looking for what horses they have available. All right, uh, what kind of horse do you look for? I know uh, where most of the, the horses are stabled if you are trying to buy one. I was looking for a horse that isn't too big for me. This is too small. Right. Uh, and a horse that is a little bit faster, but not so easily scared. Right, if well... That makes uh... sense. Because the fast ones, they tend to be scared by things really quickly. I can uh, I can tell you there uh, if you want something that maybe not get too scared uh, maybe uh, look for the uh, the dark bay Andalusian they are uh, they're pretty good like that uh, they they are kind of like uh, in some places they they use them for war you know for uh, for shooting each other and uh, killing uh, yeah, so they are used fast. to uh, they are used to like a gunshot and uh, this this kind of thing. Not sure how they do around predators, but uh, you know. If I'm not wrong, that breed is from Spain. You are right. Exactly. Yes, they are. Uh, they are from Spain. Yeah, Andalusian. Uh, very uh, Andalusia. Very nice area apparently in uh, in Spain. I've never been there, but I uh, hear people talk about. Uh, this is a beautiful place, you know, got a lot of mountains and uh, very hot weather also. Kind of a bit like, uh, you know, this country, like uh, somewhere between like the mountains of Coulter, you know, uh, and uh, the the heat of Rhodes and, uh, you know, even down to uh, New Austin there. Yeah, there, you know, very, very hot environment sometimes. Oh. I keep getting interrupted exactly, John, so I'm like, please stop! <laughs> but yeah. I, I seem to have forgotten your name, sir. Oh, it's Miguel. Miguel Sanchez. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I'm sorry, I am, I'm, I'm trying to, uh, trying to pick out a saddle at the moment. Is, uh, yeah, no I keep uh, I keep getting uh, distracted right there, you know. I, it's getting kind of dark as well. I can't really see this uh, this saddle all too well now. Damn, the sun the sun go down really fast right there. Yeah, that seems to happen really quickly. All right, let me. Uh, I'm just going to ride uh, this tail into this this stable here so I can look at him under the light because uh, this this is a little bit difficult now. <laughs> Oh, sure thing. Oh, karma, karma, this day, oh, karma. Wait, why are you trying to buck? Come on, this day, oh, no, stop it. Stop, no. You're being, you're being spoiled, this day, oh, come on, stop now. Stop it. Stop it. There. There you go. Come on, come on. God damn it, this day you are really pissing me off today. Right, let's let's get this done. Let's buy this one because we've been on it for the whole fucking time. Buy that. Oh, uh, we've got to hold it. So we bought that. We've got twenty dollars left, peeps. Yeah, I think uh, the the one that is uh, is out there at the moment uh, seem to be uh, seem to be the one. I think she uh, she causing all the problems. I think you like her. Yeah, stallions tend to be that way, don't they? Oh, he does. Yeah, absolutely. He likes to cause trouble for everybody, but uh, especially when there are uh, mares around. Oh yeah, he will. Uh, he will produce uh, beautiful horses. I'm sure. I'm very sure as well. <laughs> <laughs> do you I do. Yeah. Uh, if you can give me like uh, maybe five minutes or so, I can. Uh, I can 
take you up there actually if you like. Oh, that was very nice. Alright, no problem. Let me just uh, get the stale here outfitted and then uh, we can go up there. You do your thing, take your time. Where's the Baroque stirrups? Why are they not? Why aren't they showing? Uh... Oh, what? They're like... Why are they underneath like that? Uh... I think... There we go. Why is it, why is it doing that? That's really like... Let's do the hooded ones. I like the hooded ones. Hooded ones are good. Um, uh, hooded. Do we want the saddlebags? Saddlebag. The skull. Quite like the black and white. That one. Four bucks, we'll go with that. Um, right, so we've got $14.75 left. Um, need a bedroll. Um, Can't actually see what this looks like. Let's move him. Let's move him more into the light here, so we can actually see this fucking bedroll. We're gonna end up buying something that we don't want. Um, umber, cedar, wood, penny, penny. Oh, <laughs> use dash. I think umber is the darkest one there. Go with that one. Um. Saddle horn. We need a saddle horn. Snake head. We'll go with the snake head one because that's as close as you can get, I suppose. Um, eagle rose, spotted center circle, half flower, bronze, and steel eagle. Uh, we'll go for the snake head. And. Got everything else? Or we um, we might need a blanket under it as well. You can't even see the blankets, so we won't bother with a blanket. Um, actually, you can kind of see it, can't you? That one there will do. Color one, that will do. Five bucks. Um, right. Where's his mane and tail? We go with the black spiked up for 50 cents. And tail. It. We won't. We won't mess around with the tail. We don't need to. I think we're done. I think we finally did it. <laughs> Looking snazzy. All right. Uh, so beautiful. Yeah, I kind of decided to, uh, you know, do the the the. Like the, the, I think the native call it the Mohican kind of hair for his mane. Ah. But My yeah. mother is native. Oh, right, really? Yeah, but she tries to be British. It's not even funny. All right, okay. Oh, so you, uh, you want to go to Emerald Ranch? Yeah. Okay, uh, I saw yeah. a flyer at the 
at the telegram office. Ah, uh, you finally got in. Nice. I'll see you in a little bit, hopefully, Chansu. All right, okay. Well, uh, let me uh, let me show you the way to uh, Emerald Ranch. There is uh, some nice horses there as well. Thank you, kind sir. Uh, no problem. I like your saddlebags. Yeah, they are uh, pretty nice. Yeah, your uh, your horse is quite a bit smaller than I uh, than I thought. Yeah, it, it, funny story. It's not my horse. All oh, right. Okay, I see what you mean. You're borrowing it, right, from uh, somebody? You can say that. I think everybody borrow a horse every now and then. You know, we uh, we all have to at times. Yeah, only sad thing is that I think Carter still has my gun. Oh no. Yeah, yeah that, uh, that can be uh, bad. <laughs> well, they thought this was my horse and he didn't run Thank away, you, so I have been pretending it's my horse so I wouldn't get, get charged by horse thievery. Yeah, you know, uh... You can, you could always say, you know, you have a horse just like him, and uh, you you thought it was yours, and they, they were both next to each other, and yeah, you know, uh, you didn't notice the saddle was different or something, you know, when you get on there. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. So what do you do to earn money? Well, uh, my trade really, I'm a gaucho, uh, so I, uh, I'm kind of like a cowboy or. You you would say if over here, uh, but oh. uh, I kind of do pretty much anything needed really to uh, to make money. I do quite a bit of hunting really. Also, uh, sometimes uh, you know I I try to breed horses for people, but uh, not many people are wanting the the horses right now. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, everybody wants to buy from uh, you know the stables and uh, you know to get their. Uh, their own but uh yeah one one day we will uh, we will breed a horse you know with uh with my desteo here and uh yeah make a make a beautiful fall for somebody to uh you know have grow into a a, a lovely horse oh well, he's a perfect salesman yeah he is uh he is beautiful i uh, it was funny you know when i was first uh trying to find uh, the best uh, horse dealers around is actually Emerald Ranch is uh, is pretty much one of the better places there uh, they, they have the uh, the dark bay turkoman the gold turkoman the silver turkoman they have uh, I think Appaloosa also oh. uh, some yeah some very nice breed of horses there yeah I haven't seen that many of those around but I'm just from Saint Denis so yeah, yeah. I'm not sure. I uh, can't remember what they have in Saint Denis, but I don't think they have anything, you know, very special really there. If no, are, that's uh, why I just borrowed this horse. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if uh, if you are looking for a very uh, special horse, maybe uh, Arabian, I can tell you where uh, the, you can find the uh, the Arabian. They are, you know, the place Coulter, um, very far north in the snow. Oh. Yeah, I've not there been is a... there before. All right. Well, there is a stable there that, uh, yeah, they have, uh, they have the Arabian there. Oh, thank you. They are, uh, they are beautiful horses. But uh, again, you know, like this Theo here, sometimes he, uh, he, he like to uh, throw people off or kick a lot. You know, the the Arabian are kind of similar like that. Yeah, that's. But tends to happen with the fast horses. Yeah, yeah. That's why I think maybe for you, uh, you might find Dark Bay Andalusian, uh, you know, a, a better horse. Yeah. I still have to find a way to get money that doesn't get me in trouble. Oh, uh, I know a lady actually in Valentine. Uh, she, uh, she have deliveries. She do, uh, you know, uh, she's. She pay like seven dollars per delivery, and uh, is it's kind of quick, you know, to uh, to make money like that. 
A lot of yeah. the uh, delivery actually are also right there in uh, in Valentine. She's so, she's quite lazy, really. She don't like to go away from her <laughs> uh, from her tent there. But uh, maybe uh, after we go to Emerald Ranch, I can show you that. Yeah, that would be very nice. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Yeah, Carter was not very happy with me. Who uh, who Carter? Sorry. A uh, deputy. He has an eye patch. Oh, right, right. Yeah, I'm not sure I meet him actually, but uh, I hear about him, you know? Yeah, he made me go apologize to Bob, the store clerk. Oh, really? Yes. All right. I almost got away. Oh, you were, uh, you were sticking up the store right there. Yeah. All right, okay, so you are... Uh... You're not like full bandito, I suppose, but uh, you're not the uh, you're not pure innocent lady, Effie. No. No, my pa always said that you're gonna end up in Sisica. I've uh, never been to Sisica myself, but uh, tell you the truth, actually, I was uh, with a group of friends trying to uh, plan a. Just between you and me, we we're trying to plan a bank robbery. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, we uh, we got told about a uh, way to get a key and uh, this kind of thing for the vault. We were still trying to uh, trying to find uh, how you get this key. Oh yeah. Between you and me, the when I was holding up the tiller, he gave yeah. me a bank key. Oh really? I don't have it anymore. Oh, but the that's man take it. Ah, right. Yeah, no, I I understand. Right. Well, maybe uh, maybe I can uh, speak to him, so to say, you know, and uh, see if he will give me one also. You need to point your gun at him. Oh, that's no problem. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> Well, uh, should we maybe, uh, we can take up the pace a little bit, I uh, can show you uh, Emerald Ranch there. Yeah, of course. I think actually we can, if we go over this hill here, we can kind of cut the corner right here. Okay. I think it, they call it the, uh, the cut short. Oh yeah, shortcut? Ah uh, yeah, something like that. <laughs> Pretty sure uh, this uh, this is the road to uh, to Emerald Ranch. Anyway, I'm trying to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, funny story. I ran away from home today. Oh really? And I my, took uh... my pa's gun belt and his revolver, but I didn't know the combination to the safe, so no money. So I went to the store, and I almost got away. All I right. was already on the horse, ready to go, and then they ride up. Oh no, that's uh, that's too bad. So, I decided, you know, just better put my hands up. I tried lying, but he saw right through it. Yeah, yeah, they are, uh, they kind of, uh, I think, you know, if you are the last person leaving the shop or uh, the bank, probably they will think it's you anyway, right? Even if you say to them, oh, it's just a mistake, you know, I pull out my gun by a, by accident for a second there and uh, yeah, he, <laughs> he he make alarm and I'm like, uh, what are you doing? I'm uh, just, I'm just looking at my gun right here. <laughs> I think they, you know, they still are, uh, they still kind of suspect, you know? Yeah, I tried saying that I helped the store clerk because he had an illness that makes his fingers shake. All right, yeah. So you point the gun and he like, uh, he, he his fingers stop shaking. No, I was pretending that I was counting the money for him. Oh, right, yeah, and you were going to give it back. Okay. Yeah, but Carter didn't believe me. Yeah, yeah. 
we are going to go past actually the uh, the place that I do my uh, gacho and ranching at uh, you know the where I intend to have a horse breeding place eventually. Oh. Yeah, it's uh, it's actually just up here. I think uh, I think this pathway here, if we go out along here. I don't want to try and ride too fast, you know, because this Theo is uh, is a very fast horse, so I don't want to uh, to leave you behind, right? No, but we can go faster if you want. Ah, well, we are nearly at the uh, the stable here, but uh, of course. When we go to Emerald Ranch, yeah, we, maybe we can have a little gallop like that. Yep. Sounds good but to me. Yeah, this uh, this place uh, here on the right is going to be hopefully my uh, my stable. This is where I, you know, spend a little bit of time. Oh, don't worry about the uh, really the burnt uh, the burnt boards there. One of my friends he uh, he knocked over the the lantern there and uh, kind of burn a few of the boards so. I'm actually, when I'm going to, uh, you know, apply to uh, to use it as my building, I'm going to uh, ask them if I can have a little bit of money off because uh, I still have to get the uh, the boards replaced there. You know, they are a little bit too uh, too burnt right there. Yeah, but it looks good. It's a good spot. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of surprised. Not many people around here, you know. Oh, he's acting up again. Hey, karma, karma. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, maybe uh, we we can go a little bit faster over to Emerald Ranch. Yeah, of course. Excuse me, sir. Yeah, I uh, just meet a man actually called Tommy. He uh, apparently he stay around here quite a lot. He uh, work as a farmhand. Oh. Yeah, seem like a nice man. Hey, you're not going to shoot anybody, you fucking idiot. That uh, guy back there, so rude. All right, yeah, well, some of them the, are so rude. the stable is right here. You put your weapon away, friend. You're you're not doing yourself any favors there. Yeah, if you uh, you can go inside there. Oh, this man. He really want to. Uh, he really want to do this. It's okay, don't Thank worry. Thank you for showing me the horses. Hey, no problem, no problem. Now I know what I'm saving up for, I think. Uh, which one you are going to try to get? I really like Hello. the way the fox trotter looks. Hey, Tommy. Oh, is that you, Tommy? Yeah. Hey, Tommy. Howdy. Yeah, fox trotter is a good fast horse as well, you know. I'm not sure again, you know, what kind of temper they will have around, uh, you know, uh, predators and uh, that kind of thing. But I think, you know, sometime uh, if you calm them right at the uh, the moment they start getting too scared, you're uh, you're okay for a little bit, you know. But they eventually all of them throw, I think. Yeah, if the predator gets close enough, it is their instinct to throw off. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Who did he have in ropes there? Oh, it was the local who was riding into town, uh, you know, wanting oh, to yeah, uh, wanting to fight. I thought he was coming back for me. He started riding back this way, and uh, you know, so I get out my repeater and think, you know, I'm about to have to dance with the devil. But uh, he uh, he kind of got roped up there by uh, Tommy, so he okay. Oh, Tommy is giving him a good eating. Like a talk. 
Yeah, that's uh, that's not a bad idea. I think you know the uh, the man probably needed really the way he carry on. Yeah, I think so as well. All right. Well, uh, you want me to show you where uh, Miss Valentine is? That would be very very nice. All right, no problem. Hey, Tommy, this uh, this Effie. Hey, I'm Effie. We uh, we meet just now in uh, in Rods. She uh, she seemed to be a nice person. She uh, she nice ran away from home. Too. But yeah, you know, I just thought to uh, introduce you. Tommy here, they uh, he spend a lot of time over here doing uh, you know the ranching. Oh, I think maybe oh, uh, yeah. maybe he having a problem. Maybe the man hit him in the ear. Yeah, yeah, I, I guess he might be. Then you get that horrible ringing. Yeah, I never, uh, never had this before, but uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure it can uh, can hurt pretty bad, you know, like that. Yeah, I know how that feels. Well, uh, let me. Uh... Oh, I think yeah, he uh, he must have. Decided to take a nap right there. Yeah, that's okay. Okay, well, uh, let me show you where uh, Miss Valentine is. Okay. Hey, uh, that you, Ruby and uh, Ethan, is it? How are you? Oh, the yeah, house getting out. You? Oh, damn. No, oh, no, go back. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I don't really have. I can't. Uh, <laughs> I can't. Get him back there without, uh, you know, roping him up and uh, take too long, really. Yep. Yeah. God, his storm is coming down really badly. Yeah, I, I got a question. Yep. Yeah. Do you guys uh, do you brand horses? Do we brand them? Uh, you mean like the the burning? Uh, yeah, the hot iron. Ah, uh, I think you can like. Kind of brand them, if you see what I mean, when you uh, when you first get your horse, maybe. But uh, I'm not sure if uh, you can get them branded. You know, if you see what I mean. I don't think uh, the marking will stay for long. Uh, yeah, I, I was just wondering, if, like, uh, if you guys are off the surface, if you know what I mean, just uh, just as a uh, thing. Yeah. We'll probably fade, but we bring a dollar of horses, Miguel. We got them done here. We're hoping to get a hundred horse branded as well on the back, uh, up a left leg. Oh right, okay, yeah. So if uh, anybody, like for example, uh, take your horse, you you know it's yours, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. This is a horse yeah. ring that's been yeah. done in a while. It's right. Yeah. It's not very good, right? No. Or we are going to uh, ride over to Valentine. Actually, uh, was going to show uh, Effie here. She, uh, I think, she, you are you kind of uh, new around town, Effie? Yeah, I have only been in Saint Denis. Ah, right. Yeah, there you go. Well, you ought to tag along with us then. We go everywhere. Yeah, Sounds we. Good to me. Maybe we go over to uh, to Valentine. I was going to show her uh, Miss Valentine, and then. Uh, you know, we, uh, yeah. yeah we'll okay, let's, well, let's go over. together. Let me get the uh, the stairway. Do they have a sheriff's office there? Yes, yeah, yeah, sadly they do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe yes. I can get my gun back. What's oh, oh there you go. Did Effie. somebody steal your gun? Oh, I couldn't hear you, Ruby. Tell. No, I got arrested. Uh, my name is Effie. Effie, huh? What'd you get arrested for? I ran away from home, and I needed money, and I almost got away when they came riding up. Uh. You gotta get a better tactic. I didn't really have a tactic. That one, that's why you got arrested. I just needed money. Yeah, I was already on good. the horse. Yeah, the horses are pretty fast, so I'm, uh, I'll follow you guys. Oh, hold on, I wanna look at something real quick. Adios, y'all. Safe travels. 
Oh, you are awake there, Tommy. I thought you uh, passed out in the mud right there. Yeah, I think the wind knocked me down in that dang storm. Yeah, it's uh, pretty, uh, pretty bad, but the sun coming out now is really quite nice. Yes, sir. Y'all head into Valentine? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Well, good luck to you. Well, hello, Miss Effie. Hey, Tommy. I'm a ranch hand here at the Emerald Ranch. If y'all ever want to do some trading, y'all just stop by, all right? Yeah, uh, uh, personally, I don't trade though? much, yeah. But I was I was here to get my horse branded, and now we're going to Valentine. Oh, very good. Very good. Well, safe journey to you. All right. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. you. Take care there, Tommy, and uh, we, uh, we'll, uh, we'll catch up with you soon, I expect. Yep, you stop by any time, like I said. All right. Let's, uh, let's hit the road. I have yeah. no idea which uh, Ethan disappeared dis dis to. Yeah, I did not. Uh, I think he went this way. Oh, maybe is that him? Oh, is that yeah, him that's over him. There? I think he's doing something with the owl. Or maybe he can brand your horse. So, grab, grab him. No, that's fair enough. You, uh, you want me to take him out of here? Uh, yeah, I mean, he can oh, stay in I the think, yeah. Oh, he's awake. I think you're okay. Fixed his attitude. Yeah, I horse. hope you learned your lesson, my friend. Yeah, it's not my horse. Oh, you're gonna get arrested. I kind of borrowed it. No, the, this is the horse that I had when hitting the store. Oh, And all right. the deputies thought it was my horse, so I just played along. And he didn't run away, so I kept him for now. I can't say the same for my horse, he's always running away. Same with these ones. Yeah, this horse is more loyal. <laughs> You're tiny. No, it's too small for me. I don't know, you look like a pretty good height on it. I'm too, uh, I'm too small for my oh, horse. Sorry there, Ethan. No, that's my fault. I don't know what this horse got its own fucking oh, mind today. Another stallion, I reckon. I don't know. Males are the worst. So, what do you guys do to earn money? Uh, we do robberies, but we actually don't get caught. Oh, right. Yeah, that's uh, kind of... I was kind of uh, trying to plan one, actually, for a, for a bank a little while ago with my uh, my friends. But, uh, yeah, things kind of uh, took a little turn, so we uh, kind of had to hide for a little bit, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, you can shoot deputies to stop fucking looking for you. Well, Ethan, you think that, but you're the uh, you're the one with one point nine thousand dollar fine. So, yeah. <laughs> oh damn. Well, yeah, We're not paying it. When you become an outlaw in the state, they don't even let you go in the fucking town. Take all that shit away from you. Yeah, you see, I was uh, I was planning, you know, if uh, if I do this robberies, uh, you know, I want to uh, I want to give my money to someone to hold on to for a little while. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, not a bad idea. We'll bury it out there too somewhere. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know where you can get the, the spade for if there is a place to do that. Well, just find someone you trust and heavily rely on them. They have a cross you and cut them. Oh yeah, don't worry. Uh, the people that have crossed me in the past, uh, they are no longer around. Yeah. So, Miss Abby, a... where are you from originally? St. Denis. And you ain't ever City girl. Now I've been out every once in a while, but you been to uh, Valentine yet? No. Uh, we'll get ready for the smell of horse shit. 
and a lot of people uh, tying each other up in the street as well, if I remember rightly. As long as people here. don't tell me to mind your language, young lady, I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah, well, I think you'll be okay just, there. Uh, yeah, you'll be fine there. Or, uh, you know, you just tell them to go fuck themselves. Yep. Just break them my way. How much uh, is the Missouri Fox Trotter you are trying to buy there, Effie? 150. Oh, wow. yeah. All right, uh, that's the same price uh, the Steo cost me. I think it was 150. The but Missouri I Fox Trotter I think is like a hundred something. I don't think it's a 50, but I think Maybe it's a hundred something. Yeah, I think it's that. Yeah. This one, he's a, he's only like 60 dollars, but he's fast. It's a very pretty horse. Thank you. She's a very interesting gal, that Miss Wes. Hope everyone's doing all right, by the way. Sorry, we, we've been fairly yeah. uh, fairly heavy on the RP as soon as yeah. we got on, so I've not really had a chance to interact with anyone, but no, I hope, uh, hope everyone's doing That's well. Right. You're about the only person that probably kill me, though, right no, now. I bet I you could hog tie him in two seconds. I could. Yeah. Oh, yeah, That's a good point, so, huh? actually. I'm not sure I even uh, have my gun loaded at the moment. I have no ammo. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll cover you. Yeah, move it over to the left. Where did my dog come from? Hi, dog, but where, where were you? Oh, yeah, sometimes they uh, they just come out of nowhere. Oh, well, I'm glad to see you. Hi, then. doggy. Oh. What's his name? I don't have a name for him. Well, his name was originally Lucy, but uh, Ethan and Jesse kept insulting it. Yeah, show for Lucifer. <laughs> oh, I right. like that name. See, it's a cute name. And well, then you like, just, uh, say name. Lucy, and people are like, have the same brain. It's like El Diablo, right? Yeah, yeah. Diablo, whatever. Yeah, but that's the cool thing with calling it Lucy. Well, like, oh, that's so cute, and then it's like, mm, well, I mean... It's Lucifer, but... Uh... Yeah, you tend to shorten animal names. <laughs> or human names, for that matter. Yeah, this one, his name is Wolf. Not because I'm scary or anything, because I put a wolf on him before I put myself on him. <laughs> <laughs> my horse, my horse is named Jasper. Jasper is an asshole. Yep. This is uh, Desteo. Really, uh, name. really, the pronunciation should be Destecio, but uh, I tried to make the uh, the double L sound like the the main main Spanish speakers because when I even when I say to a Mexican, you know, if I say, "Oh, this is my horse Destecio," they he like what? And I'm like, uh, yeah, uh, this yeah. so the better people. Or the better yeah. player people. It's just to pronounce it easy. Ethan, did you for want my dog over? Yep. This one is loaded. So is this one. Alright, Fanna. Yup, I'll give you two barrels to your one. Uh, I can do that. I can hit you with one barrel. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think you want to mess with her. You'd be surprised what I mess with, Miss Effie. <laughs> You're trying to mess with me you other probably places. Would. So, uh, does anybody know actually how to uh, how to make the moonshine? Because I know where I know where oh, you no, can brew it. I'm not experienced in that. Well, I found sadly, the place a uh, long time ago, and I, f I found a man also profit. that. Uh, that I could sell to as well, if you see what I mean. I heard there's a folk in the morn that you, you make it in the morning, you sell in the morn, but that's all about I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, I know the places to make and to sell, but I don't know the uh, the recipe. You know what I mean? I used I to heard make. Uh... So this one dude, he said he's made out of cinnamon or something else. All right, maybe. Uh, I'm trying to think where you can buy because uh, I think maybe yeah, I you have to get the. I haven't seen cinnamon for sale. 
I think my yeah. paw talked about corn. Oh, uh, maybe it might be uh, corn moonshine. Ooh. Yeah, nope. Yeah, it sounds disgusting. Maybe uh, barley. Some I think. apple pie. Yeah, definitely barley. Barley well, is one hundred percent needed. Barley, maybe uh, sugar as well. I'm not Berries? sure. Berries, berries possibly. Yeah, maybe. But yeah, I know where the the place is to uh, to make this stuff. But I, the man that used to make the moonshine for me, he uh, he ain't around anymore. Oof. Ethan. Oh, that uh, that little dog uh, is the. Is he the gray husky? Yeah, that's uh, that's Lucy, and Ethan is the one who keeps running over. Ah, right. Uh, yeah, I used to have a gray husky myself. Well, he changed his color somehow. I think it's just the dirt on his fur. He uh, he called uh, Flash. Like uh, this Teo is the name for Flash in Spanish, and oh, then so I call my dog. Uh, I call my dog uh, Flash as well because you know I couldn't yeah. think of a better name. I like that. It resonates nicely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's quite short as well, so you know you can you can shout at him. Anything. Hey, Flash, get back here! Mm -hmm. Don't run away. Well, Lucy just kind of wanders off, comes back when he wants. Most of the time, he's sitting at camp. Yeah, yeah. I miss uh, all the miners. I miss oh, my oh, Flash. Oh, oh, sorry. What are you doing, Wolf? It's hard to believe, miss, that you got yourself arrested from Robin. Yeah. <laughs> I would have never figured you for. I would have never figured for that. No, I needed money. Huh? I didn't have highest. a combination for my pass uh, safe. Sometimes deputies will give you money. Yeah, we got five hundred dollars. Uh, well, that, that's sheriff. because yeah, that's because we demanded five hundred dollars, not a. <laughs> Fun. We have a good time. This is literally the slowest I've ever ridden in the Valentine. Normally we just I, uh, run through. Yeah, I would. I was, you know, kind of riding a little slower here because uh, Effie's horse doesn't have the longest legs, so you know, yep. going to get left it behind. Is a little one. I'm She's a little one. So small. Yeah, yeah. It's like a, almost like a mule. I just the first horse I saw. <laughs> Yeah, you probably would have found a faster uh, donkey, you know? You think so? Oh, maybe. Yeah, yeah they, they are deceptive, you know? The burrows are pretty quick when they want to be. Oh, uh, yeah, the burrows are very, uh, very fast sometimes. Especially if you give them a slap on the backside, right? But they put a little woman like you on one, it's gonna be real quick. Yeah, exactly. Not so much weight to carry. Yep. Couldn't not. Could not ride fast with uh, with somebody like me on really. <laughs> Good evening. Yeah. Good evening there. Okay, well, uh, Miss Valentine is over there by the uh, by the tent. I'm not sure if she's there actually. Let's let's just go. Oh, there she is. Yep, thank you. That's oh, no very problem. nice of you. Yeah, so if you uh, if you talk to her, she uh, she might even give you a little delivery here in uh, in town. You know, it's only seven dollars, but uh, you can do them pretty fast. Yeah. Then I will be able to buy myself a horse and uh, eventually pay that fine. Miss Effie, you still on the need for some money? Yeah. Yeah. Come take this pelt. It's just a poor one, no, but it'll get you like thirteen dollar from him. Oh, thank you. That's very, very nice. Yeah, there you are. Shot it with a shotgun. No wonder it's pretty. Yeah, it wasn't accidental. Yeah. Every little bit helps. Yep. <laughs> for some reason, I can't pick it up. That's quite ironic. Hold on. Let me take it over there. I'll set it down oh. by him. I'm trying to calm her horse so that it doesn't go nuts. Come on. Or he do. <laughs> oh, oh 
no, damn. Just um, can we hitch here? I'm sure. Yeah, I was about to say. I'm sure we could hitch there before. No, no, just there. <laughs> Why can't we hitch? What did you say your name was? Ethan Cole. Oh, it looked like uh, somebody dropped one right there. Yeah, maybe you go pick that up. Yeah, you, have it? you uh, you might as well take it. I don't need to. Uh, I don't need to uh, sell anything right now. Oh, you talking to me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There is a <laughs> there is a path right there. The tiny horse has a hard kick. I flew back like 10 feet. You got kicked by her horse? Yeah, yeah. I almost punched it in the face or shot it, but... Hell am I surprised. I'll be right back. I'm so sorry it did that. It's evil. Yeah, I don't want to keep that horse. He sticks around. Look at Oh, him. this day will nearly kick, uh, kick Ethan right there. You see what I mean? He, like, he gets <laughs> bored when I'm not on him. He just, like, uh... He like he, he like to play uh, the the they call soccer I think. That man that was just here with the mask looked a lot like my mother. All right. Hey, karma, karma, this deal. Jesus, he's going to kick again. Look out. Ruby, you want to head over and get some drink? Come yeah. yeah, you guys are more than welcome to join us if you like. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, calm down this tail here. He's being a bit of a dick right now, and I'll no come problem. and I'll come and join you in a moment. All right, sounds good. Come on, what? you're embarrassing me, this tail. Stop it. It's supposed to be a breeding stallion, Jesus. Well, that's why he's like that. Yep. Why is that? Why is he not hitching? Come on. There we go. Swear to God, Desteo does this all the time. It's so annoying. Greetings, amigo. Do we have a horse brush? I think we've got a horse brush. Why is his... His name should be Tisteo as well, not fucking Turkamon. <laughs> there we go. It's a bit calmer now. Phew, jeez, I thought he was never going to sh shut up. <laughs> we get some um, some cash out so that we can get a beer. I don't know if we've got... Actually, I think we might have some beers on us. Um, we got... Yeah, we got 12 beers on us. We'll, we'll just wear... We'll just wear one of them. We'll just use one of them. You got, you went to tumbleweed. Yep. You got cholera, home. No, right, well, yeah. Be careful. It could be a mask day, cause cholera. Don't even eat. Don't even. Don't. Don't even shit there.
Oh, please tell me that I haven't just called the stair. That's very kind of you. My apologies. Uh, right. Got it. Going real well, how are you? Another fucking day in paradise. You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong at all. So you say, she say your name's Ethan Colt, right? That's me. Deacon Shaw, pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Pleasure's Ethan mine. Colt or Cole? Shall we go inside or are we good talking out here? Well, let's head inside, might as well. Yeah, we got a big table. Fit us all. Yeah, we'll see here. Miss Effie, look at your hip. Look at that. See what she got good wise? She got my Callaway. Oh, wow. Looking good, huh? Look, she's taking time. her shit and I'll give it a bag. That's why you just kill him. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> what kind of guns you get her? She got a Callaway. Revolver. Uh, ain't too bad. Got the same as me. Yeah, I think so bad for her. Is that the same that we have? But even currently it is. trying to sell is that a, Al? a president. I think that might be. Yeah, it is. It's on the third there. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Sorry. I just needed right. more to right. that. My attention. What is it? Do I got the floor, I guess? Yes, sir. Well, don't know too much about how much she told you what not. We didn't really make oh, any. I didn't say much. Didn't really make any plans or anything like that. But they thought you might be uh, interested in, in some of the business that I might do. You spoke to Elias as well. Oh, not Elias. No, who speaks to you? Just you. It was uh, just you a remember Jesse, right? you. Yeah. We've actually yeah, told us a, uh... about this thing, and we we're like, oh well, maybe Ethan will want it. We've got a robbery outfit, I think, All as right. well, somewhere. Yeah, the hold up outfit you. there. Well, I run a uh, rather profitable fireball whiskey venture, if you catch my drift. Yeah, I understand. And I'm looking for, uh, you know, people to sell to, people to uh, maybe help uh, keep other people away from the, uh, the steel down there and uh, for parts of the profit. Yeah, that sounds equal. What time? What like time frame are you looking on getting this venture started? Well, it's already kind of started. We do it all the time. I just uh, <laughs> running into too many folks that have been doing it. So, yeah, it's competition out there for sure. Why is that disappearing? Yep, yeah, trying to make it a little less so, so that way you know supply goes down, demand goes up, and uh, makes it even more profitable for us. Yeah, I like to a, a lot, actually. Money uh, speaks volumes to me, for sure. Well, done it to us all. Yep. Sorry, I keep uh, putting my arms behind my back. I don't know why. You're fine, you're let me, fine. Let me stand up again there. Here we go. Uh, just got to use the uh, use the beers from your pocket, not from your, uh, not the whiskey. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was the problem. I, you know, tried to follow the Cerveza with a chaser, and uh, yeah, the the that problem come. Show sure do. So what? Yeah, what time frame are you looking to get like us involved with this? If we decide we want to help you, as soon as you want in, Mister. And you making any profit currently, or are you uh, still trying to figure it all out? Well, no, I make profit just about every day off it. All right. Soon as uh, you know, soon as we see a little bit of a, a decline in it and whatnot, then uh, you know we'll see about uh, you know where the profits go and how we split it up is uh, completely negotiable. All right. Well, I think my just uh, you know off the top of my head here, I think maybe if you have you transporting it as well, right? Yep. Well, I think if anyone any place the codes could find back to in on this. Will be to give you a safe escort wherever you're heading. All right, that sounds good to me. I mean, we run interference. We uh, we kind of just you know make sure nobody fucks with it. We're dangerous, so. Well, yep. Yeah, my my biggest thing is is maybe uh. She's quite you know, small, actually. I don't isn't have she? too many funny. troubles while down there growing the crops. 
I don't have troubles while I'm at the steel for the most part doing the work. It's uh, when I'm not there, everybody else coming in and making it uh, themselves. So gotcha. if you got if you got people in the in the state at you know any given point in time, if uh, you know every so often you gotta just make a pass down there, make sure there's nobody there, and you see somebody there, you make sure that they uh, you know, use your you get better uh, bugger off. Yep, you use your uh imagination on how to get them to not come back. How you use this as a golden revolver? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pistol or no 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 he has a it's a pistol or revolver. It's a revolver. Golden revolver. Who me? No, 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 no. talking about me. Oh yep, I got one too. Yeah, oh, good boy. Yeah. Birds of a feather, I guess. Guess we're supposed to stick together then. Yep. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Well, I'm gonna talk it over with my other my other people. And I'll get back to you very soon. Well, Maybe not right. today, but by tomorrow, I reckon. All right. And uh, just so that all cards are on the table and whatnot, I also got my hands in another uh, another possible investment up in uh, Strawberry with uh, another group of people. Not a, not a big group of people. No, uh, no threat to y'all, but uh, they're going to try to be uh, maybe starting to take over Strawberry and uh, selling uh, moonshine out of, uh, out of the Who is welcome location? center up there. What's that? Location. It's a tourist location, so that'd be quite good. Yep. That's why we're... Uh, yeah, it's not a bad idea, really. That's why we're trying to get into it and, uh, you know, see where that goes. Also yeah, I figure that's interesting. If we Second. don't stop making shit right, making, making our own ends meet, you know, we're going to be changing the century here soon, and then everything's going to be a little bit different, I feel. So yep. I, the, the quicker we get into this, the quicker and better we're going to be at the end of it. Likewise, feel the same. Also, if you guys ever have any uh, any need for, well, how do I put this? I also run a little bit of money laundering for for some folks around here. That's useful. Yeah, that's always useful. It's, yep. uh, often we uh, go down and we're worried that they're going to be sitting there with guns, ready to uh, get us from the just uh, from the yep. bank yep. or the general store. So you guys, you guys bring the 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 cash to me. And I'll give you uh I'll give you the clean minus uh you know a little bit of a cut. Little fee, then, I understand. Yep, and then I'll uh I wait till the heat dies down and then I go and clean it my damn self. Yeah, we uh, got us a lucrative business model ourselves. So uh, you know, there's a bunch of us Colts. We rolling through doing mischievous shit all over the place. Got quite a rapport we've been building with them in deputies, especially that under Sheriff Burton. Uh, well, we got a big fucking problem with Mr. Walter. Hmm. He's just like a thorn on our side, just poking away, being an asshole. Yep. No matter how many times you put lead to that fucker, he's always uh, trying shit. Because um, Jesse shot his wife, but. Yeah. <laughs> well, <she's laughs> <shooting it up. laughs> Might have something to do with it. Shot his wife. Pick up a gun. You better fucking <laughs> use it. You better be prepared for the outcome. <laughs> mm hmm. But anyway, it sounds like we got ourselves a good situation here. I will present it accordingly, and I will get back to you. One of my people will get back to you if it isn't me directly. Any well, words you right. hear back will be from me. Sounds good to me. Yeah. Miss Abby, you ain't drinking over there? I don't know what to get. Look at your whiskey. Ball's open. Ain't anybody in there. Just go grab one of them damn things. Oh, I will. Thank All right. You. Yep. Well, on to pleasanter business and whatnot. How you guys doing today? It's been a good day, honestly. Doing a lot of riding and whatnot. Hasn't been too bad. Let me show her what she's doing. Hold on. Be right back with y'all. All right. So where'd your partner in crime go? Uh, mine? Yeah, Mr. Jesse. Well, he ain't going anywhere. He just got replaced with Ethan. But, um, he went to help his, uh, help around the camp. You know, we got a camp up there. Probably feeding the dog, setting up the fire, just cooking. You know. Well, all right. Sounds good. You'll be able to identify us mostly by, uh, neither of us are wearing it right now. But it's a, uh undershirt any color with a gray pinstriped vest that's how pretty much what sticks out about us 
Yep, yeah, saw you were both wearing it earlier. Yeah, yep. and if you see a dead horse, most likely yes. Why a dead horse? It's a. It's so not. It's you all... don't kill horses randomly, but it's a. It's a punch to an insult. Yeah, when there was Leo or whatever, those deputy folks, they uh, hitched their horses out front of their shit, you know? And, uh, well, you take their horses out, they don't like that too much, and it makes it real difficult for them to follow you. Well, it makes sense. Granted, it's you actually shoot some, pretty you shoot dastardly, horse. but... Yeah. You don't want to shoot them, you shoot their horse. Well, I heard they're trying to pass something that uh, their horses are actually deputies now, too. Of course they is. I still won't care. How are they going to stop you in a robbery though if you're you're uh, if a horse, horse can you can, it can't ask me to stop? He can't hold a gun, right? I mean, you know, he could run after you, but what are you going to do? Yeah, who knows? Yep. It's only gonna get worse as time progresses, y'all realize that, yeah? Yep. Words getting be smaller and smaller for deputies. people like us. Yes, sir. But uh I bet Lucy could become a deputy at this point. That dog, anyways. You talking about your damn dog? I am talking about that damn dog. He probably probably could become a deputy or whatever. You whatever want to put that stupid hat on him? Yeah, there we go. That marshmallow. Yeah, how's it going? Got it. Yep, not a problem. Got like English police helmets. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's what like they call it. That's what they call each other. <laughs> Look at ironic, ain't it? It's the dumbest hat I've ever seen. You see those fellas? Yeah, I was about to. Uh, I was about gonna to say. comment something, but uh. Oh, this looks like they put a soup bowl on their heads. Yeah, yeah. It's very really, it's really, really big, song. really big soup ball. Oh, he's a real big man. I bet that fucker hits hard. Ah, uh, my gun hits hard. Yeah. Bet it does, yeah. So what's y'all's plans for the remainder of the evening? Uh, I'm not too sure, really, actually. I, uh, my friends, uh, that I used to, uh, you know, Right around with are not around at the moment. They're all kind of, you know, laid low in different places. But uh, yeah, I've not seen them for a while, so I'm kind of, I suppose, on my own right now, really. You got me. Yeah. Well, apart from Effie. Oh wait. Oh shit. Team speaks crashed. Uh, we don't want to send an error report. No, um, let's get this fucking shit back. Give me my... Damn it, why does it crash at the worst possible time? Uh, sorry about that, my, uh... My voice kind of went for a moment, you understand? Oh, I understand. Yeah, yeah. I totally understand. Kind of, uh, lose it for, uh, you know, a few seconds right there. Oh, yeah, he went to the bathroom, right? Alright. But yeah, I was, uh, I was just saying, yeah. I don't really, uh, don't really have many plans right now. I was, uh, you know, planning on, uh, the bank at some point, but, uh, the people I was with are, yeah, like I say, laying low right now. Mm -hmm. You remember how to get the key? Yeah, yeah, maybe I should uh, try and do that, actually, uh, sometime. Oh, yeah, I suggest not doing it in Valentine. Deputies go in and out. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, uh... If I'm going to do it, I'd probably try a strawberry, maybe. Oh, wait, are you trying to get the bank, or...? Yeah, yeah. Uh, um... Maybe roads, if uh, there is nobody around yeah, there. Yeah, that'd be, uh, roads is a good area. Although, sometimes the clerks are very hesitant. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, I'm not sure, maybe also, uh... 
could try Blackwater as well, but uh, mm -hmm. the only thing I don't like about Blackwater, and well, I suppose Rhodes as well, if I don't have a key to get out the back, you know, but... Uh, I got mine out of... I got two of them at Blackwater. Alright, okay, yeah, just have to make sure, you know, if... Uh, yeah, they cough it up easily. They leave town, uh, you know, the, the deputies leave town and then... Uh, can wait for a little while and then uh, yeah just ask mm -hmm. them nicely to uh, put the key on the table and just walk away from it yeah, they'll probably hand it over yeah <laughs> yeah there was um somebody tell me actually you can uh, you can get one for the vault did you guys hear that ah uh, no yeah i heard that i know uh I know the way to do this, but uh, there is uh, a few things that you need in order to get it. What just happened here? No nah, shit, but I have to go shot. I heard someone get hurt. Yeah, it sounded like around the back. Yeah, it sounded like maybe around the back of the stores here, somewhere. Can you guys see if uh, any of the horses had a body on the back? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I they... see one, but... I think maybe no, there was two one. people on the back of one horse. Yeah, I don't see any bodies though. No, no. See if there's anyone in these, uh... Not sure. Deep bushes. It's kind of funny though that, um... Cliff, my alt character, is actually the one with the most amount of money now. <laughs> Good evening. Howdy. I'm gonna do uh, one more, I guess. Oh, you uh, you're going to look out there again? Yeah, I guess one more. All right. Uh, excuse me, sir. You didn't uh, happen to hear or uh, see anybody get hurt down the back just now? Uh, nope. I, mean, I did hear a, a gunshot, but I was kind of lost in my thoughts smoking a cigarette. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah, I was kind of uh, thinking I heard the same, but uh, we could not find anybody out there. So maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe they could be in the pig pen. I guess maybe. Mm, possibly. Possibly. Maybe I should go and take a look there. Are you going to be okay here, Effie? Yeah, I am. All right. Hey, you okay there, my friend? Yeah, somebody shot at here. 
Yeah, we were just looking to see if we could find anybody. I was just going to uh, check in the... Uh, right out here, but I don't know what happened. Happen. Oh, they, uh, that group uh, rode off. But yeah. uh, we were just going to check. I was going to check the pig pen. Oh, there's some people riding into town now. Fair enough. Yeah, there's folks over there. Yeah, they're bringing a body there. Unsure. Let's have a look. Yeah, they look like maybe they just pulled one off the horse. Somebody just rode into town with a body on the back of their horse here. Uh, I hope so. I, uh, what I was just with two fellas right now and uh, we uh, met a bear and one of them got that hurt. Is, so is chance to. All right. uh, That's a friend a big is in there. on your back of your horse. Yeah, one of them uh, shot it and uh, put it on my horse for some reason. Yeah, Timberwolf, huh? Mm hmm, sure was. It was only one, though. Well, that's ironic. <laughs> yeah, I hope your friends are right. Yeah, I hope so, too. I mean, I, I don't know him very well, but I, of course, I uh, hope he's all right. Yeah. Well, if you need anything, we're in town. Let us know. Thank you very much. Yeah, have a good day, ma'am. Yeah, you take well. care. You too. <laughs> <That's chancy. laughs> All right. I have it out here. It's quite a lot of people's names cropping up now that we do know as well on the server. Interesting place this is. Well, like, well, we know their characters. If you see what I mean, there's Cliff, some of them. You throwing chairs now? Why can't I sit down? What's going on here? Well, that's interesting. I wonder where that fellow went. Oh, we're dead. Have a seat, please. Or oh, shot in the leg and then forced onto a horse. Yeah. I hope not. I was trying to uh, trying to get on this one here, but uh, I think somebody uh, might have broken it somehow. Oh yeah. Probably just rushing out. Ruby, what you feel like doing? I feel like I want to find out what's wrong with that dude. What it went. I don't know. I think it's going to be really difficult to track them down at this point. They left in quite a hurry. Yeah. Actually, hold on. There's a man outside yep. the bank crawling. What the hell is this man doing? That's a woman. <laughs> it is a woman. Oh, is it? Yep. Go ahead and hold up in here. What the hell are they doing? Maybe she shot her pants? Yeah, maybe. Stay them with the bugs down here. Yep. Looking very suspicious out here doing what you're doing, just saying. And who are you, a lawman? No, I'm an outlaw. Ethan Cole, pleasure. Just want to make sure everything's all right. You, uh, you cutting the bushes back with that? Oh, good. Ain't no worry here. Just had some... Gunshots happen out there behind a saloon, so everybody's just a little what the hell's going on, so... There was three men in black masks that all were shooting around the back of the saloon. Did yeah. you see who they took, or if they took anybody? I didn't see them take anybody. I see someone got on the back of a horse, but they didn't take anybody. Alright, that's good. Oh. What's your name, miss? Cloud. 
Maya Cloud. Oh, I like the name. Maya Cloud, I like that. Thanks. All right. Well, we'll leave you to your bugs then. Thanks. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too. Horse is still here. I might go grab him. All right. Uh, probably should hitch him. What she say she was doing back there? Uh, I don't really think we should leave her alone. We yeah. go with her. What is that girl doing? Okay. Yeah, he's hanging around, so I figured I might as well go grab him, so I have a horse for now. Yeah, yeah, probably a good idea. Yeah, he seems pretty loyal. Yeah, it's a shame he's uh, not a little bit bigger for you. Yeah, he's a little small. Yeah, I always say I'm never coming back here also. Yeah, you always end up coming back here though, huh? Ah, uh, yeah, you kind of have to sometimes. I think everybody does. Yep, well I'm going back in. Someone. Yeah, probably. Uh, I see him. Probably the lady that's walking around like she uh, looking nah, for something. It was, her, it was the woman with the wolf on her horse. Oh really? Yeah. It's all okay. right. Just a yoke. We'll yeah, let me go have a look real quick. I'll stay here, please. I get that the beer. Mm, pardon. Yeah, no problem. Drink bottle, isn't it? Uh, that's not it. <laughs> Where did he go? Uh, drink whiskey, I think. I can give you like a small bottle. You finding some? Yeah, it took me a little while. Person. Thanks. Did you not see me? <laughs> you uh you have Everything's back problems right. or something there? Hmm? I was I was wondering if you have back problem with you which is why you like, you walk around like this the whole time. No. I just look at the bugs down on the floor. Alright, okay. So what bugs are you finding? There's some cockroaches and some ants. I was looking for some lizards, but I can't find them at the moment. I know where uh, I know where you can find lizard. 
I can uh, I can find the you lizard very easy for you. We have a game actually called Lizard Toss, or Tossing of the Lizard. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, it uh, you you need a lizard for it, obviously, because you know it's part of the rules. You should save the lizards. But there is a place you uh, you can go to. Uh, you you have a map you have uh, drawn of uh, of the area. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so let me uh, let me just have a little look at mine. I'm pretty sure. But the you know the there is some islands uh, kind of close to uh, to the coastline, just south of Rhodes. Yeah. There is a place where there is like a little uh, there is kind of like a little house with a a little dock on it there. Right. Okay. And then uh, near to there, there's a fairly large island there. And if you uh, if you can find a way over there, you know you can kind of you can go there on horseback, uh, quite easy. But uh, it's best to try and do it by boat. But uh, there is a fairly large island. It's not the biggest island there, but uh, you can probably find them on there also. But there are, uh, I think the green, uh, the green iguana there. They call it. And yeah, they have uh, they have a few other things there also, like crab and that kind of thing. Ooh. It's much appreciated, that is. Hey, no problem. This is 25. Ooh, thank you. Have a good day. Hold this for me, really. No problem, you take care. I can't hold it if you throw it. Sorry. Bye now. She just had it crash on her or something as well. Take care, yo. Bye. <laughs> the awkwardness of the emoting. <laughs> okay. It remind me actually. I like to uh, to go over to that island again. Maybe try and find myself a lizard to uh, show some more people how to do the uh, the lizard toss. It's a good yeah. game. It's a you know good way to pass the time. Y'all ever been a guana? No, but I no. I got told by a lady if I ever show my face in Guarma, I'm a dead man. Well, I'd be ah, more than enough reason there. not to go to Guarma, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure she uh, she's still around. I've not seen her in a long time, but uh, yeah, there was a uh, time me and my friend we were trying to help a, a lady we uh, we meet. She have the problem with her head. She can't remember um, things. You know she. She lose her all her thoughts and memory, and we were mm -hmm. trying to find a doctor. So we come here to uh, to Valentine, and you know we bring her to the doctor's office, but there was nobody there. We see these three ladies on horseback outside the uh, the deputy's place, and we uh, we yeah. ask we go up to them and we say, "Ah, uh, excuse me, you uh, you see a doctor? We are trying to get help here for our friend." This one lady, she like, uh, you see this lady beside me. And we're like, yes. She say, well, she is the judge. And my friend, uh, she, the one with the uh, the head problems, she say, what is a judge? Because she don't remember what judge is, right? And uh, she said, would you like to find out? And then she bring out the gun and she shoot at my friend. And she didn't hurt him. Nice. She didn't kill him. But uh, yeah, he was like, he was kind of badly injured. But uh yeah, then uh, as we That's walk when you away, shoot them back in the face and well, you don't miss. They all had uh, they all had the shotgun out and uh, they all had the guns out already. Yeah, so I we were those. we kind of thought maybe you know you don't want to try to do this right now. But uh, I kind of made a mental note of uh, who they were, and thought you know maybe uh, maybe what if I come across like? them again. Well, I'm not sure. Uh, the the one lady she have uh, bright fiery red hair and. Uh, she, uh, she, she, uh, th she was saying she was the one I believe who said to me, "You don't go to Guarma. If I catch you there, you're a dead man." But she sounded like maybe she not American, she not English, but uh, she, I think was maybe she Italian, like an older woman. No, 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 no. All right. No, she had black hair. She had black no. hair. Okay. Yeah, they. This lady. Uh, she. 
she quite loud and she really she really rude for a lady also you know what i mean yeah. but she she don't have an american accent or i don't think it's even from europe maybe she like one of them places you know down to the very south of the world but not argentina yeah. she she like uh maybe is Australia. australian american no, 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 no. I'm I'm from South America. I would have known if she were South American, but uh, all right. Yeah, she. Uh, I think she Australian. Anyway, she's shouting. You know, you do, you come you come to Guarmar, we kill you, and all this kind of thing. I was like, well, oh, yeah. whatever. But yeah, she uh, Australian uh, redhead lady. Then there was the judge. She um, she have black hair. I'm not sure if she's still a judge or not, but this other lady that shot my friend was uh, black hair also. But uh, they're both uh, American, I believe. Yeah, but yeah, okay. this lady, uh, I'm not sure if I if I ever see her again, you know, and uh, have an opportunity, maybe I, uh, you know, have a word with her with my pump action shotgun to the back of her head, you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. No, nobody shoot my friend in front you of me. You let a like little that. Miss Abby do it for you. No one will suspect this little thing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe she bring her out the back and then uh, yeah. stand there with the uh, with the double barrel yeah, or the pump action the and uh, so, so. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure she would uh, she would care. She seemed to be like this sort of person who don't care about anybody's life really. But uh, yeah, if ever I see her again, she uh, she in trouble. Yeah, sounds like she needs it. She better be. Is she feisty, isn't she, Ruby? Mm -hmm. I have to, uh, we gotta head up to a, uh, we haven't been there yet, but I gotta, I was looking at my map and I think I need to head here. You need to head here? I don't know what the place is called, it's a reservation of some sort. The Wapiti? Uh, yeah, maybe. What you need to go up there for? Uh, I have an idea on some. Well... <laughs> ah, y'all want to come along? Ah, uh, yeah, can do. Yeah. All right, then let's go have a gander. There's a chance, a high chance, it might be for nothing, but. Well, I guess we'll find out together. I like that we've come on and like I've met Jackal's um character. Um and these these other two characters, the two female characters are both pretty cool as well. I like Effie. She, she's obviously fresh fresh blood if you see what I mean, but um yeah, she's willing to do like all sorts of nefarious shit by the sounds of it as well, so I swear he trained. He turned into you. Yeah, he looked like he tried to uh, hurt you there. How oh, good. Hey, Ruby, you know when Jesse coming in to the town, he's like... Uh, he's at, ta he's at camp making some food and taking care of the dog. It should be around two hours. Alrighty. Maybe an hour now. Any Maybe word half? on Elias when he gonna be in? No, I don't know where Elias is at. I heard I he was insane to me. so much after he got shot, it's ridiculous. He got shot multiple times in the stomach. Well, I got shot and don't see me meandering off doing like other shit. You're fine. You're also skinny. It went right through you. I ain't skinny. I got meat. Skinny. You're skinny. I know I am. Thank you. You're a big ol' ass. I will shoot your horse if you cut in front of me again. <laughs> Every yo horse able to keep up, yeah. We'll see. All right. I hope everyone's having a good night. We're um, we're rolling with this group now. It seems for a little while at least, um, which will be fun. Um, because I say, as I say, like Miguel's like a. He's a sort of a grey character, if you see what I mean. He's not like pure evil, but he's not um, he's not pure by any stretch of the imagination either. He's killed people before. Um, that's how he has this hat. Um, it's like a memento from his time in um, Mexico. He killed a man. Um, 
I think I can't. Did we call him Paolo? Uh, I think we called the guy that we called Pablo Escobar, maybe? No, I don't think it was Escobar. Um, it might have been Pablo. But it was Pablo anyway. Oh, rain is coming in. Pablo Gonzalez, maybe? I can't remember. It's always a bummer. Um, but yeah, we, we said that we had killed this guy. Um, uh, because basically he'd... He was going to double-cross um, Miguel. And um, Miguel sort of cottoned on to it. Um, before this guy took him up to his uh, up to this group of bandits he was gonna hand him over to um, and um, Miguel realized what was happening um, and uh, yeah killed uh, killed Pablo quite funny that, that um, both of these groups <laughs> rolled up. Well, Effie and... Um... Yeah, you gonna read it? No trespassing, no hunting, no stealing, no violence, no business with the elders. Alright, well, be good. Yeah. Effie, you got a coat you can put on? Perfect. But yeah, the um, <clears throat> the thing about uh, Miguel is he's killed oh, yeah. he's killed someone okay. before, um, and it was down to like basically this this character was gonna was gonna double cross him. Um, so he realised that. Uh, oh, it was Pablo Escudero. That's right. Um, I'm pretty sure. I believe there may be a horse stable up here with the repeating reservation, and I'm interested in seeing what horses they got. All right. Well, we could use me as a ticket. Yeah. My Should mother be right. is keep native. A look here at the rear. Y'all want to keep riding up? Oh, well, if you look at native, we should be fine. No, you need to watch yourself, sir. There wasn't a rule that said no violence, so I'll be fine. Well, we could technically be showing me the reservation because my mom is a native. And you better row. Go. Get out of here. Uh, wondering what we're doing here. This lady behind us, her mother's native. We're interested in revisiting her generation. What are your names? I'm Ruby. Nice to meet you. 
I'm Miguel. Hey, pleasure. What, uh, what is your name, my friend? Tashi Mato. I like your name, sir. Tashi Mato. I like it too. Ah, good to meet you, my friend. We, uh, we come in peace. We're not here to, uh, to fight or do nothing like that. Yeah, we're not here like, to disgrace like your said. land at all. No, I, I all, I treat everybody with respect, you know. Like our friend said, she, uh, we are trying to find maybe, uh, our friend here, Effie Mother. Uh, we believe maybe she come up here to the, the, the reservation, maybe. You will all wait here. I will go okay. get the others and they will decide. Alright. Okay, thank you. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. I think we've met that yeah, guy, you, that Marto. Look, how beautiful that looks. Um, that is the scariest thing that's ever happened to me. <laughs> um, we met him with oh, Cliff. I've never ran into a native before. Well, I have in town, well, but I don't know. Let me know tell him. you how this is going to work here. We on the land. They're within their right to kill oh. each and every one of us. I only know that. And I don't want to be on their bad side because I kind of want to eventually learn about my heritage. I, yeah, I appreciate them and uh, yep. I'm just trying to look at the horses. I, I appreciate the land, I appreciate the horses, and I'm just trying to see what horses they have. Uh, what yeah, I've learned uh, that one of these folks are watching you, that's for sure. Yeah. What I learned about the, the natives when I've uh, when I've met them as long as we treat them with respect, they tend to treat us with respect as well. I know, yeah. uh, I know a guy called Takoda. He, uh, he very nice. I think I meet another man called Shadow a few times. Yeah, Shadow Bear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mayhem as well. Yeah, my ma doesn't want me to know anything. She just wants to pretend she's British. You know, Ruby, you make a good point by hitching your horse. We can give them absolute respect by being off of ours. Mm-hmm. Let's yeah. all do the same, shall we? I would say uh, maybe we show open hand as well when uh, when we see yeah. them. Oh, I got on my horse. Yeah, it might be a good idea. Yeah, I'm just going to take all these guns off as well. I can't remember how we hide. I think maybe we put. Is that not ah there and then we've got to go with uh, that no that's that's part of what we want on <laughs> it is where's the actual can't take that holster off for some reason oh well Yes, there. Uh, this woman right here to the, uh, I'm the woman on the left with the longer dark hair. 
uh, in the grey. The woman to the right of me, uh, her mother is a native and she'd like to find out more about the heritage, you know. Did Deerhorn uh, put out an uh, announcement today? Not to my knowledge. What's your names? I'm Ruby. Ruby? Mm hmm. Ruby West. Ruby Breast. West. West. Mm hmm. Mm. I'm Elizabeth yeah. Holloway. I see, I see. I'm Miguel uh, Sanchez. Miguel Sanchez. Let's see. Hello, the Rob here. My name's Ethan Colt. Ethan Colt. Yes, sir. Oh, it's a pleasure to meet you all. Pleasure as well. Mm hmm. From what tribe was your mother? I don't know. She married a British man, a rich man, and they're living in Saint Denis. She won't let me know anything about my heritage. Well, this is very important. It's I like, know. uh, you ask maybe an Irish person comparing them to an English. They live close, but they are not the same. Your tribe is very important. Could you obtain this information? I don't think so. I ran away from home because I'm, what can I say, tired of uh, them keep your language, young lady, and telling me what to do all the time and making me be a lawyer. I don't want to do that. I want to learn where I come from. Yeah. This is fair. Well, you have the right to learn this knowledge, but I cannot give it to you. Because I don't know. Well, that's okay. At least we tried. You should, uh, figure this out. I will. Uh, if you have relatives in which you can acquire this information, then we can share stories. I will try. Uh huh. I think it's Elizabeth, not... Ruby, what are the two gentlemen's names? Ethan. Ethan. And Miguel. And Miguel. I see. I'm, uh, I apologize for not being able to help in this endeavor quite yet. It's not oh, your fault at all. Hey, no problem. Mm -hmm. You, uh, you don't mind me saying you have uh, some beautiful horses. My, my kind of job. Uh, I come from Argentina, so I know what you mean about uh, people thinking everybody kind of the same wherever they come from. You people keep mistaking me for a Mexican. But uh, I wanted to say my my job is like a gaucho and horse breeder, and you have beautiful horses. Mm -hmm. I never see yeah. these horses around. Where uh, where do they live? Do they roam free or breed them? Yeah. So you you breed them in the Wapiti? All over. All right. Mm -hmm. I want to use my. Uh, my stallion here, uh, over there, the the silver Turkoman, he is. Uh, they they say these the Turkoman is the grandfather of basically every horse breed, you know, around here these days. A lot of a uh, lot of horses come from this. Yeah, Turkoman is a. Uh, it's uh, like a war horse, part Arabian, same mm -hmm. uh, family. Yeah. That's why yeah. I want to yeah. Know. I love that uh, Appaloosa, I believe it is. I love it. Mm. Yeah, la, you're not Spanish, correct? Uh, no, no, I don't know. This is different. I'm English, no, but... I'm from Argentina, so uh, we we speak Spanish, but uh, there are differences, like you say about the the place you you come from, and people think everybody is the uh, same, also. Uh, we're close. This is to Spain, Argentina. Oh, Argentina. If you do, you know uh, Mexico. If you were to keep going south, you come to Mexico. If you go through Mexico, you go through Colombia, 
well, Panama first, and then Colombia, and then you go through uh, Paraguay, Uruguay, and uh, you can go through Brazil. But yeah, you eventually you, you keep going south. You'll uh, you'll get to uh, Argentina, my home. Uh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe your people will bring us horse. Yeah, quite quite a long time ago, possibly. Long yes. Time ago. Yes. There were no horses here in this land, and they come no. from the south. Yeah, yeah, big tradition in uh, in Argentina and uh, the surrounding countries. You know, Chile. Uh -huh. They have uh, we have gaucho everywhere. Basically, gaucho is like uh, the uh, the word for it here would be cowboy. But uh, okay. we are we are more at one with the land down there than than the cowboys. I think here. <laughs> yeah, very much so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We tell a story. My people don't have a name for. Uh, Horse, it, we call them uh, Neka Teka Tishia, which uh, means giant dogs. They do we, act like dogs sometimes. Ah, uh -huh. when yeah. we first see them, we were confused. Beautiful creatures, though, massive. Mm -hmm. uh, again, uh, do you have weapons? Well, we Your do, but we left them on would be, horses. Uh, yeah, yeah. Make yeah, sure we got a lot of horses because we wanted to be off the horses when we all came back here, yeah, so there wasn't any, any, you know, anything that could be misconstrued or misinterpreted. Yeah, yeah. Clear road. Out of it's respect for you. Locals are quite aggressive sometimes. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Came across yeah. one just down the road down there and pulled a weapon on us. So apologies for shooting a weapon on your land. Uh, you have to defend yourself, correct? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sometimes you just look at them and they want to kill you. So I understand. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll escort you off because many wolves uh, to maybe back a station. Yeah, that's that okay. Fine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Appreciate your well, hospitality, you. though, honestly. Yeah, yeah. When you find out this information, uh, yeah, seek me out. Thank you. What are um, what are your names again? Sorry. Um, my name is Michi Kaniko. Michi Kaniko. Okay. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah, you can just call me Crow. It's a, it's a word that has no expression. Uh, sorry, English. It's like the, the motion of a bird when it takes off. Oh, interesting. Okay. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. That's something beautiful. new every day. Nah. Uh -huh. mm. You may call me Tashi, and when we ask you off, I will show you where I reside, so that in case uh, you find this information, you can come find me and I can go through. Thank you, Tashi. Hmm. Thank you so much. Now we haven't done anything quite yet, but maybe. Yeah. No, I think we uh, we appreciate the respect, you know. The the respect is always mutual with me. I, I will always treat people how I would like to be treated. Look, if it's someone who's coming on my land, I'd have a problem with it too. So y'all within your right to do whatever you feel is necessary to remedy the situation. So your hospitality is very equally appreciated from my perspective as well. Huh, well, this is how I see it. Sometimes we say our land, right, because we have this notion that we own it, but uh, reality is this is just a home. Right. It's our home. It's the home of the animals, the wind. We should all Sounds have a right to it. Yeah. But uh, unfortunately, this is not the way it is. So we try to maintain that here. Well, I'll give you my oath right here, right now. Y'all need any help making sure that this stays yours? You call me up. You let me know. Colt. Yes, sir. Understood. Very well. It was a pleasure to meet you today. Honors all hours, fellas. Thank you, lady. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Uh, make sure they uh, have safe passage. Mm. I, I will escort them wherever they wish to go. Just to make sure. Uh, we'll just hop on out of here. We'll go down this road here. The way we came mm. in. Very well. Uh, be safe, Paul. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. 
Where low will you join? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll be at rest. Appreciate you, sir. Thank you. Yutaka is quite young. Still very scared of snakes and water. It is. I do love the uh, the RP of the natives. Because mm. this was definitely still a time where things yeah were mm. obviously very high between a skull of a ram. The natives and uh, where I will show you. I oh, suppose the and I, I killed it because it did homies? not like me living where it was. I suppose the so um, I drank its blood. The migrants and people that came from well all over the world to flood America, particularly around sort of the gold rush and the land rush times. And yeah, please everything was say still, that again. Everything was still very raw between. Yeah, the natives and, um, you know, everyone coming in. But yeah, it's, it's been fine. it's been good. Um, seeing these peeps. On board, and we'll attract wolves. Even if we couldn't get up there to look at the horses for her. They're very protective of this land, this passage. My policy is, if I do not know how a man would wish to be buried, I leave him where he lay, so that nature will do what they will with him. Hmm. Life is not absent. Understood. I really do appreciate it. It was really nice to meet you all. Thank you My so name much. Is Willow, and I am happy to have met you. Happy to have met you as well, Willow. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, thank God. Thank all of you. May life Dashi, bless grow, you with Willow. Life and health. I will they be back soon. Have good journeys. You as well, ma'am. You take care. Safe travels. Yes, sir. I will show you to my sanctuary. You are all more than welcome to come and sup with me if ever you see the signs put up and the campfire lit. Thank you so much. I do right. believe I saw you in a Valentine earlier. Hmm. Quite often, uh, we frequent there, so indeed, if you find the information of your ancestor and tribe, and you see us in Valentine, you are more than welcome to approach us there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Ah. I will pick you up on that. What? Oh what no, was... there is wells. So I couldn't help. Okay. Thank you for uh, pointing them out. Just 
Karma this day, oh, karma, karma. Find my horse. Foolish Rutika. Spread out, look where he's on. Didn't see which direction it went off in, I think. Went over this way. Go this way. Did anyone see? Uh, and stuff in the floor there. <laughs> Spirit within their mind may be free. All right, we do know. Thank you for explaining that. Thank you. We will detour this way. I wish to show you my sanctuary. Oh yeah. It is not very far. It is just the top of this mountain. You see. We will cut pace. Be careful, it does get uh, slippery. I enjoy rock climbing. Wish you could match the pace with them. If you see what I mean, like um, you can in Red Dead Online, because I know if I hold shift. My horse is gonna like just go flying past him. This is a beautiful view right here. Buena Vista. If ever uh, you come this way, you will know that I am awake and either here or Valentine or at the reservation. You will see a sign here of a fox's skull mounted onto a pike. This do not fear. It is just a a means to show that the land is claimed, but all are welcome to sup with me. I will okay. tell tales and stories and share wisdom. The sun coming up, beautiful. Here, I call my home. I would set my tent here and my campfire. Travelers frequently pass this way, and often I trade food for arrows or um, other things. And even when I am not here, you are all welcome. Up top the uh, mountain. So much. A mountain to the north, there is a pathway up. The view is, as they say, breathtaking. I ask, uh, 
I ask uh, two things. The first is in this area that there be kept peace. There is no hatred, there is no pain. It is a place of haven, of safety and welcome. And the second thing I ask is that there is many animals that live here. Animals are sacred to my brothers and sisters, to many tribes, but here you are welcome to take what you need. This is not the case in the reservation, of course, or in the big valley, but there is one animal I wish not to be harmed, uh, an eagle. If you take your binoculars and look atop the mountain to the north, quite often he perches somewhere on the horizon top. His name is Varinda, which I translate to like the wind. I like that. This, this eagle I have befriended and he is who I commune with. I would ask you do not harm him. I'll give you my word, I won't be harming him at all. No. If Thank you, you for showing us your locations here. This is absolutely stunning. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. If you wish, I can escort you back to uh, Valentine. Uh, the sun is up. Do not think many wolves attack during the day, but we you can be never right. be sure. Yeah, I think you've done more than your share, sir. Hmm. Your hospitality will be remembered, I will say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was uh, Tashi, right? Hmm. You may call me Little Fox if you wish, but I do prefer Tashi. And then I will call you Tashi. Yeah, as will I. I do hear Eagles calling, I believe. Mm. Yeah, a lot of uh, hawks as well around. Beautiful. Hmm. Thank you so much, Tashi. I will try to find information about uh, where my mom can come from. Please, uh, excuse me. Uh, I must, uh, I must return to the reservation. Of course. Of course. Uh, no problem, no problem. Yes, Peace be with you all. Peace be with and you, you. Peace be with you. Really beautiful up here. I don't understand. <laughs> I thought for sure we were gonna get mixed up in some bullshit. Yeah. It's like I say, if you are uh, respectful, most of the time they are absolutely fine with us. Well, I think it made, I think it made a good presence for us to go hitch our horses up and put our guns away. So. Yeah. Yeah, and if you put call. in the effort to befriend them, maybe we can trade horses. That is very yeah, true, yeah. That would be good. I love that Appaloosa, I don't know where it's from. Yeah, it's a beautiful horse. Well, shall we, uh... Well, is there something else you wanted to do up there, Ruby? Or can we I go back to Valentine now? I wanted to check out the now? stables, but they're not letting us in there as a man. Yeah, map. I think maybe y'all wait for that. Yeah. yeah. Just, you know, common sense here. And it would okay, appear as if we might have some weather moving in, too, arrow. so... Yeah, let's get on out of here before it starts getting blustery. It's a beautiful spot though in the game. I don't spend an awful lot of time up in the sort of mountainous regions really in the game anyway. Um, 
I know there's a lot of uh, good hunting and stuff up here as well, but um, yeah, a lot of the time I uh, I tend to spend sort of around Great Plains, roads, and um, Scarlet Meadows and Somebody want those to sorts of areas Make in sure general. Good. Oh, I'm good. I will yell. Yeah. All right. I think we did the right thing though, like you said, taking yeah, our guns off. Um, I was going to yeah. suggest that anyway, if we hadn't. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the right thing to do. The yeah, Miguel's had like a lot of run-ins with... Not run-ins, because that sounds like we've had fights or whatever, but um, we've had a lot of meetings with, um, with natives and like I said, like in general, we treat them with respect and like show them the respect that we would hope to have as well. Um, and things usually go all right. Um, it's when you go in there, like saying I'm going hunting in your land or whatever, um, and then you know they obviously will say to you, "No, you're fucking not," <laughs> or not like not quite like that, but obviously yeah. Um, They'll kind of be like, nah, um, that's not happening. Um, and if you try and push it with them, then yeah, obviously they'll be like, no, you don't seem to understand. This is our land, and we've been pushed into smaller and smaller areas of the country that we've inhabited for hundreds of years, thousands of years even. Um, and you are, um, yeah, you are making it even harder for them. So. Yeah, in general, like I say, with um, with most of the native tribes on the, on the server, you will find that if you treat them with respect, then that's stupid of horse. The level of respect you'll get back. If you see what I mean? You having trouble back there with him? Nah, he just slid. <laughs> Don't know how. We are horns for the front of my horse. Don't know who's uh, who's still going now? at the moment. Chansu yeah. looks like she's just got off now, right. maybe. I'm kind of gutted, like, Chansu's character, Penny. Obviously, like, people are going to find out in one way or another, but, um... Yeah, Penny's gone. Let me see here. Why we on that How's it going for me? Oh, oh, are you... Yeah, I didn't... Okay. <laughs> sorry, I've only just seen my chat with it. Let me... Yeah. Let me swap over, because it's kind of half obscured okay. by some stuff. Um, uh, how's it going for Miguel? Not sure. Um, what was that? I'm not sure. Oh, the direction of the horse. Um, probably. <laughs> I'm guessing. Um, yeah, things are going pretty good. We've met up with this group of peeps um, who seem to be uh, decent. Um, I know Jackal God and um, not sure if I know the other female character, Cherry Falcon though, but um, Jackal God is um, one of the people that rides around quite a bit with um, only Alex 66 I think, um, and um, she was one of the first sort of people that dropped in on my chat and yeah sort of um, raided and, and So annoying that, that the horses tend to be so fussy around um, each so it's, other. It's kind of funny. Yeah. That we've run into like one of the one of the people that um, I think is a mod for her as well, um, but also role plays and stuff with her and yeah streams themselves as well. So it's nice. Um, we sort of run into a group of people who are kind of grey area as well. If you see what I mean, like Miguel is um, like he's not uh, he's not the purest person in the world. <laughs> but he's also not like the most evil person either. So. Um, He's kind of like in the middle, and he'll do whatever, like whatever comes to try and make ends meet and stuff like that. Um, but he's not like yeah, about to go like shooting up faces and stuff like that. Um, 
and he's always respectful with the with the natives and so on as well. So that's what I like to sort of put across with with a every time like that we meet them if you see what I mean um, if we've met like quite a few now like Dakota and a few other people and stuff and um, yeah they've always like as, as I say they've always been kind of um, fair to us in that respect is that that same I can't remember if that's that same character, the one I that was. I have to go um, think a little bit. Sugar Plum Hunt, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the same one that was was looking around earlier for bugs and lizards and stuff. Good afternoon. Hello, Mister. Actually, let's uh, let's get some guns on our back as well, so that we're not defenceless in uh, in town. Pretty sure it's on here that we have to go. Yeah. Uh, do. Hi, Mister. Hey, how are you doing, my friend? Uh, not Hello. too bad. Didn't get your name Hello. earlier, but you uh, know where I'm I'm happening to you. There, there you are. Yeah. Nope, they just asked me if I could help them out with something. Yeah, we heard uh, gunshots back there. I figured that something happened to you, so we were kind of worried about it, but it looks like you're good, so that's all right then. Yep, I'm fine. Give me here. Whoa there. Yeah, uh, sorry, my name is uh, Miguel, sorry. Deacon. Deacon, right. Yeah, Miguel Sanchez, but uh, everybody call me Miguel. All right, Miguel. Yeah, this fella to my right. Sorry, go ahead. Didn't mean to interrupt you. Yeah, no worries. My name's Nolan Price. It's not Nolan not Price. Deacon, Pleasure, Ethan Cole. Nolan and Deacon. Good nice to, to meet, meet you, Nolan. Nice to meet you too, fellas. Well, this oh, day ain't too bad. And I'm yeah. too bad. Well, check this out. We went up there beyond uh, to the Wapiti Reservation area. If you don't walk past the note, said don't you dare come in here. And well, we got met by four of them. They're very nice. Very kind. Very uh, respectful folk. That they are. Yeah, it was pleasant. Yep, it's the uh, the ones down to the west that you want to worry On about. Big Valley. They're not so. Yep, they're not so yep. friendly. Heard about them. Well, Petey are very understanding folk, probably uh, due to the fact that their chief is also <laughs> a fucking white hat. Someone's motor oh, phone just went off. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Yep. We learn something every day out here. And I think the, uh, if I remember correctly, the Deerhorn's wife is also a deputy. Yeah, all right. All right. That's good information, thank you. Well, not a problem. Hey, Mr. Colt, you mind if I talk to you over beyond over beyond the buildings real quick? Yeah, no worries. All you. Oh. Pardon me, gentlemen. Mr. Sanchez. Yeah. So what brings you around these parts? Oh, well, uh, I'm a gaucho from Argentina originally, but uh, yeah, I came up here when uh, there was mention of the, uh, the land rush, you know, trying to find a a place for my own uh, my uncle and my father wanted oh, to take over my ranch in Argentina and you know where I come from you know you kind of have to give way to uh, to age yeah, so yeah, uh, I, yeah I, uh, I, I came up here looking for a place to call my own really I see I see 
you uh where where do you come from you know you're american born and bred uh i was born and bred in the state of florida all right yeah yeah it's funny okay. uh a lot of yeah. people think i'm from from mexico because of this hat but uh yeah, yeah. you kind of gave me no. that impression as well. no yeah i uh I have it from a man in Mexico, but uh, yeah, there's a, there's a story behind the hat, really. He, uh, one time this man uh, I thought, you know, I could trust was, uh, he was trying to lead me into a trap to uh, take me to some banditos. We had been friends for about a year or so, maybe when I was in Mexico, and uh, he tried to take me up to uh, this camp of... Uh, Bantitos and I, I kind of knew what he was doing, so uh, we uh, we kind of had a, a fight, and uh, I ended up taking his life. But he uh, he was the last person in his family, and he asked me to take his hat because he's the last uh, like heirloom of his, um, and he wanted somebody that he uh, he kind of liked. I sw I suppose even though he tried to hand me over to the banditos. Uh, he wanted somebody that he uh, trusted maybe to uh, to keep it and uh, take it with them. So that's why I have this. Oh, all right, all right, sir. By the way, can I uh, talk to you uh, for a second, like somewhere more private? Uh, yeah, okay. Just in case. <laughs> so, Mr. Sanchez, are you like a lawful man? Clean slate? Uh, it depends, really. If, I mean, usually I don't, uh, don't do anything to, uh, you know, get on the wrong side of the law, but uh, I don't rely on the law, so to speak, you know. Uh, I am, uh, I suppose, like... I'm not uh, pure, let's say. You ever rob a bank or a store? Uh, no, but uh, actually, I uh, was, uh, was kind of planning on doing this one day. But uh, the, the people I was with, uh, they have gone to ground, you know? Yeah, I got you. Well, uh, today's your lucky day, Mr. Sanchez, you know, because... Uh... I feel like uh, our business interests have been uh, in intertwined. All right. So you are so. Uh, if you want, you know, uh, we can plan something out. You know, go get us some money. What you say, Mr. Sanchez? Well, uh, actually, I think maybe the the people I'm, you know, was talking to over there, uh, Ethan and. Uh, his uh, his friend uh, Ruby also might be interested in this, and even uh, Effie, the uh, the girl we were with. So yeah, there is uh, there is a few people who might be uh, interested there. Yeah, I don't mind. Like, do you all want to work together and stuff? I'm still kind of uh, you know feeling things out with them, as you might say, but uh, yeah. they seem like a uh, a good group of people in that respect they say they have done things like this before and they don't get caught so uh you know for me yeah. we were still in the kind of planning stages uh i had the uh, information from certain people certain individuals and they uh what information? well they said to me there is a way that you can get a key for the vault and uh, the vault if you can gain entry into the vault will actually give you a bit more money than uh, you might get just from you know sticking your gun in the face of the uh, the tellers there. But uh, it Wait. it require Wait. preparation. So you can yes, yeah. So you can go into the vault and you can take more more money, I believe. I I only thought you could rob stores. Oh no, you can rob yeah. banks. We were we were planning on robbing the bank. All right then, let's fucking go. I'm down. 
Well, like I say, uh, I think it still need a little bit of planning, and uh, I want to uh, I want to try and run this past the uh, the other people as well. So it might not be today for me, but uh, obviously that does not uh, does not stop you there, uh, Nolan. Yeah, you know, I'm uh, like, are you in a gang or something? Well, I mean, like I say before, I I had uh, a group of people that were like-minded, let's say and uh they we were all kind of getting ready to do this we were looking at the different banks looking at the ways that we can do it you know thinking about uh what we want to do with our own money we don't want to leave our money in the bank you know so if any of us did get caught we don't want uh, there to be a fine that we can pay if you see what i mean yeah 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 for sure so uh, the idea was to have uh we was going to have like a uh a silent partner who would not be involved in the robbery directly but he would keep hold of our money and uh after we get away you know we would split the money and then we uh we go back to that man and uh we we take our money from uh you know him and also put that back into the bank you know yeah i see i see uh, i see where you're going but, so when yeah. do, when do y'all want to do this like Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, like I said, that was with another group. We were kind of planning to do that. But uh, as I say, they are uh, all laying low for different reasons right now. But uh, yeah, I've uh, I sort of decided, uh, you know, it was kind of safe for me to come out and uh, yeah, see what uh, what there is around. But uh, usually I'm not uh, around this area, if you see what I mean. I'm uh, in a different area, but... Uh, yeah, yeah I, I plan on staying around this area, you know, for uh, a, a while at least. Yeah, I, I kind of get what you mean, kind of. Yeah, like uh, I took a different train today, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I see. So uh, which area are they from, you know, if you get what I mean? Uh, usually we, uh, we are around the third uh, area. Third area, all right. Hey, Casey, how are you doing, buddy? Yeah, yeah. So, um, but I like uh, like this place just as much, if not more, maybe. We seem to uh, have found, uh, you know, already a, a group with like mind, you know. Yeah, for sure, for sure, buddy. So, like, you know, like, do you have an idea of when to start? You know, well, when are we gonna steal this bank? Well, I hope uh, in the, maybe in the next couple of days, but uh, I need to speak to the uh, the people I was uh, was talking to about the the whole thing. I haven't really uh, asked them about uh, what they they do, if you see what I mean. You know, try and uh, try and speak to them, but it's kind of difficult when we are in town. You know, don't want to uh, talk too much. Too many yeah, people sometimes, you know, come around. Fucking and... white hats. Fucking white hats are everywhere, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. That than the uh, people who like to talk to the uh, the law, I uh, I operate on a rats? yeah yeah I operate on a code uh, is uh, called Omerta. I believe it is originally from uh, from Italy. Basically, uh, the the phrase goes like this: Whoever appealed to the law against his fellow man is either a fool or a coward. Whoever cannot take care of himself without this law is both. For a wounded man will say to his assailant, If I kill you... Yeah, sorry, no. If, uh, if I die, you are forgiven. If I live, I will kill you. Wow. That's a... That's a, a, that's a this powerful, is the rule, uh, uh, rule of honor. I see, I see, Mr. Sanjay. It is mainly, uh, mainly Italian... Uh, people i believe uh there is a, a group uh they are in italy they are called the mafiosi yeah, um, yeah they 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 use this rule but uh this man that i take my sombrero from pablo he he have learned this uh this way from them and we uh he taught it to me and this is why you know when uh when eventually i had to kill him because of what he was trying to do to me you know i i could have spoken to the uh the policia in uh mexico but uh 
I always choose to take uh, things into my own hands. You see. Of course. So of course. Uh, there is better. no there is no talking to the uh, the to the law when it comes to this kind of thing for me. If it concerns me personally, I will deal with it personally. Yeah, I see. I see what you mean. Going so is crazy. there anything uh, you you have in mind? Like right now. Well, at the moment, uh, I'm not too sure. I'm. Uh, I actually need to uh, to have a little think about some things, but uh, also to uh, to, as I say, speak with the uh, the people that uh, I've just uh, met in the last few days and uh, see what uh, what they think about uh, you know getting together with uh, with more people. We we figured you know in this previous group that uh, I was riding around with, we uh, we figured we need maybe four or five people. To do it without, uh, you know, taking uh, any casualties or losing anybody. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. We thought about maybe uh, the place in Rhodes might be a good bank to do, because uh, you can get away to the river fairly fast. If you can get to the uh, the river or the lake, then uh, you can make away on the boat. But we hadn't got much further than the planning, but. Uh, like I say, apparently there is a way that you can get a key to the vault. Um, but in order to uh, to get this key, you uh, you kind of have to do a few different things. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure if the, that still apply anymore. Do you have like, do you have any idea of what we need to do? Well, there was a man. He said to me, "If you can get the uh, the vault key, then uh, you have to make a copy of this this key." And in order to make the copy, you need to find some clay. There is only a few areas apparently where you can find clay that you can uh, mold. So you you get this clay, you mold the uh, the key from it. Then you take this mold and some gold to a uh, what do you call it? Uh, call it a blacksmith. They uh, they they can make the gold uh, into the shape of the key that you have with the mold and then you can use this key to get into the vault and you can keep it sounds nice yeah but uh i'm still yet to find these uh these other things you know but uh somebody tell me that uh if you uh show a gun to the uh show a gun in the face of the uh the the bank teller then maybe uh they will they will drop a key for you also Oh, I see. I see. I see. Yeah, so, and then uh, you can. So what's uh, your plans for now? Like, what do you want to do now? I'm not sure. I need to, like I say, I need to uh, find my friend and uh, see see where they have gone. Maybe they have gone to the uh, the bar. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe uh, I'm going to have a couple of cerveza and then uh, put my head down, you know, tonight. But uh, it's kind of getting a little bit later on for me. Yeah, I got you. Do but, you know how? Uh, do you know how yeah. you can send, like, telegraphs and stuff? Oh yeah, the telegram. You can. Uh, there is a place. Uh, if you go down to the bottom of the town there, the um, into this train station, there is a there is a man there that uh, you can go and you you speak to him and he uh, he can send a telegram uh, for you anywhere you need it to go, to uh, to any of the name. If uh, if you want to send a telegram to me, I think uh, you can still send it to just Miguel. But um, otherwise, Miguel Sanchez uh, is uh, is my full name, you know. Yeah, I got you, Mr. Sanchez. My, my name is Nolan Price, as I stated. Nolan Price. Okay. Indeed, sir. All right. All well, right then. Let's let's go and see if uh, my friends are maybe having a drink, and we can. Uh, talk about things in there yeah see sure. what Let's they uh, see what they think yeah sure you got the badass walk <laughs> Less would be fairly tall. Well, soon I'm gonna be taller than Ethan, I think. Yeah, damn oh, it. Hi, Keep talking. Hey, how Love are you doing? Deal. I'm doing good. Howdy, everybody. 
Hi there. Hello Were you there. the one who scared going? off earlier? Or not scared off, but it's Nolan, yeah. Tom Tommy, I think. No, it's not Tommy. No, that's Tommy right there, I think. No, this Where? uh this man, Nolan. Oh. My name's Nolan. Yeah, Alright, you're Tommy now. Tommy don't ever wear a shirt. Oh. Alright, well it was a pleasure meeting Joel, but I need to head back out on the path. Alright, All right. what you do, Sap. Yeah, you take care. You as well. Got a little raincoat on. I just noticed you uh, are not a raincoat. You have the same vest as me right there, Ruby. Oh yes, this is the uh, this is a vest that the cults use. I don't know why Ethan isn't wearing it. Because he's a got today. he's got a little bit of fashion sense on him right now. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. You don't uh, want everybody off. to look the same, right? It's not fashion sense. That's basic. Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> you know what, Ruby? What? Stay here. Uh oh. Okay. Be right back for you, Miss Ruby. I'm going to uh, go and grab a beer from inside one moment. I think he's going to fight me, but I'm not sure. He's too scared to fight me. So, Miss Ruby, you saying I don't got no fashion sense? Um, yeah. Buenas, my friend. Got uh, me rummages for a beer in here still. And where is it? Where is my beers? Where is my beer? There's my beer. Yeah, the, the people I meet today is uh, Ruby and uh, Ethan and uh, Ify there on the on the porch. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, I'm just going to uh, go out there and uh, we have a little talk and everything there, but... Uh, yeah, I'm not too uh, not too far off needing to put my head down, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah sure, man. Catch you later, then. All right, well, you can, uh, obviously, you can come and uh, talk with us and uh, everything as well. When wh when will that be? Oh, uh, I mean, I'm just, like I said, we're just going to have a little chat or whatever. Not uh, about, you know, that thing on the... But, you yeah, know, yeah, just yeah, talk on the... Uh, just talk on the uh, the porch there, and yeah, probably in the next couple of days. But like I say, I need I would need to uh, talk talk with these people also about uh, what they're wanting to do. Yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Are these the same people you met, like yeah. Ruby and Ethan? Yeah, yeah, I met them today when I was uh, getting uh, well. I say today, like a couple of days ago now, but uh, when I was getting a new saddle for my horse, uh, Desteo. They take away my vaqueros uh, saddle, so uh, yeah, I had to buy a new one, which kind of pissed me off, really. But uh... yeah, man. <laughs> Come in the currents with me in Lana, El. Yeah, ended up you buying a, a, a charro saddle. It's kind of okay, but you know, it's not vaquero, so yeah, for sure, man, for sure. I'm I'm fucking broke, dude. Ah well, if you need to, uh, if you need to make some money, like uh, there is a, there is a lady called uh, Lady Valentine. Most people call her, over by the tents, uh, and she uh, she pays seven dollars to do uh, some delivery work, and most of the deliveries are really close by. You know, you can do them in you know a few minutes, and uh, sometimes even really she asks you to deliver here to the general store you know so you walk about 50 meters and you turn around and you are done and then you get another one for from her you know you make you know where, where oh, I can very quick guy. money there do you know where i can find her the, oh yeah i can uh, i can take you to her if she's foreign if she's foreign out of town like 
we can just stay you know it's not that big of a it's oh no she she's literally you know just uh you know the tents over here oh, let me show you you come with me here i'm just gonna take a step this way yep yeah uh, excuse me my friend mm -hmm. I'm just uh, going to show our friend uh, Nolan here oh, okay. uh, where Miss Valentine is. Train who? All right. I'll be uh, be right back. Yes, interesting evening, huh? Yep. Someone get up, Damien. What's going on? Uh, Jesse, we met with the natives. Ah, uh, sorry. Sometimes I walk a little bit slowly. Yeah, yeah, it's okay, Mr. Sanchez. No problems. Uh, yeah, this uh, this lady just up here, uh, outside these tents here. Oh, that lady. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I see. So yeah, Miss uh, Miss Valentine, this uh, this Nolan, he uh, might want to do some work for you. Yeah, uh, Miss Valentine, nice to meet you. Yeah, she have a few different places she uh, like to send you to, but like I said, they're all very close to uh, to Valentine. You know, the, the furthest away you'll end up going is to uh, to Wallace Station, but it's, even then, you know, it's like maybe a ten ten minute or so ride. You know, that kind of amount of time, maybe less than that. Even I would say less actually. You know, ten minute there and back maybe. But yeah, you can uh, you can make seven dollars from her, you know, very quickly. And if she give you the deliveries, you know, sometimes she uh, she give you one in the general store. Then you come back and you speak to her again. She give you another one to the general store, and then sometimes she give you another one to the Saints Hotel. Like literally, you can you can walk them to her. That would be really nice to make to make a good amount of money. Yeah, so I can get better guns, you know. Exactly, yeah, that's that's one of the things uh, that uh, is definitely needed for these, uh, you know, bigger jobs, let's say. For sure, for sure, man. And then, uh, you know, if you uh, if you get guns, you know, you can... I would say probably the first uh, thing you want to maybe get is going to be uh, like a rifle that you can hunt with. Um, bolt action. Yeah, yeah, bolt action is good. Uh, I have a Springfield, but uh, yeah, they both do the same thing, you know. And uh, you you uh, you can bring an animal back when you are, you know, you've done your uh, delivery. A lot of the time, you'll see an animal on the way, so you kill the animal, bring the animal with you, sell it to the butcher. You then get uh, another delivery from uh, Miss Valentine here, and uh, you know you you just do this, and uh, you'll have yeah, like you know a quite a lot of money very quickly. Yeah, lot I of, see what you A lot of people just, you know, they do the hunting, which I used to do a lot myself. I still hunt quite a bit, but uh, I I tend to find uh, Miss Valentine here, you know. Eh, the the money, you know, it uh, it rack up quite quickly, like they say. Yeah, I got you, man. Thank you, thank you for showing me uh, where Miss Valentine is. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Guys. So I, I, I noticed that the, uh, COVID the people we, we were just uh, <laughs> hanging out with, they seem to be wearing uniforms. So they seem to be in a, in a gang, right? Uh, yeah, I believe so, pretty much. Uh, like I say, I only met them uh, a couple of days ago. But uh, yeah, I don't think I'm like part of their gang, if you see what I mean. But I think maybe they might uh, welcome me in and... Uh, you know, might be uh, might be an opportunity there for uh, you to also join in. Uh, you know, maybe be able to make some money like this. Yeah, for sure, man. I'd be down yeah. for it. Well, let's uh, let's speak to them anyway. Like I say, you know, and uh, see what uh, what what everybody think, and you know, like, we will just go and socialize for a little while, and then, uh, like I say, I'm gonna have to uh, put my head down somewhere, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, usually yeah. I'm uh, over around in Rhodes. Um, I come to Valentine quite a bit also, though, to uh, to make a little bit of money here from Miss Valentine. And uh, then, yeah, also, there is a there is a delivery man, actually, on the other side of town over that way. And uh, he, uh, he sends you, like, to 
more far away places sometimes they give you a little bit more money maybe like uh, 10 to 13 dollars something like this but really the amount of time it takes you to go to where you need to go and the money that you get is better actually to to work for miss valentine here yeah i got you i got you man there is a there is a man though in uh in ansberg he uh he do uh he do delivery cold delivery um you have to go all the way to Coulter though but it gets you about 44 dollars so uh if you are uh, happy to do like a long journey there uh, there is a you know you can make a good amount there fairly fairly quickly but uh Seems obviously to be very uh, far away yeah yeah is is one side to the other really that's why I think uh, Miss Valentine is is you know the the fastest way you can uh, make a little bit of money there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, Mr. Sanchez. Hey, hey, no problem, no problem. All right, let's uh, let's go for a beer or something like cerveza. All right then. Stream's going good. Yeah, um, Casey, we've we've met up. Um, we've brought Miguel back tonight for a little while, um, because yeah, Cliff's, um, Cliff's been good and all that, but, um, yeah, I just felt like a bit of a change tonight, so, uh, I thought we'd bring, um, bring Miguel to the table, and we haven't run with him really much here on, um, Server 2 at all in a long time, um, so it's good to meet some of the people that we know as Cliff, who Cliff probably wouldn't do jobs with, if you see what I mean in that sense. Um, but uh, Miguel would because he's more grey area. He's very right. with me, so I talked him down from doing stupid shit. So trust me when I say, I mean, you don't know me, so Excuse maybe me. don't trust me. But uh, you know, this man wasn't responsible for what you think, and he may have some loose affiliation with people who did, but he ain't, you know, the one who needs to bear out the uh, what's consequences. What's your name, sir? Uh, my name is Mitulai Mazarov. That's your brother. My what's name your is Evan. <laughs> Sorry, what, what was which one do you want me to answer you, first? You don't let me talk, Jesse. No, you you want to do this? Go ahead and continue. Go waste your time. Uh, thank you. Well, what's he look like? Uh, he has blonde beard like mine, uh, blonde shortish kind of hair, uh, blue eyes. Uh, do you know the uh, really tall fella? I couldn't tell what skin color he was. He was really tall. Uh, part of him. Really tall. Um, I I know uh, I a lot of really Rhoda tall Shire. people. Rhoda Shire. Um. I, I'm honestly not sure. I, I don't know too many tall right. people that ride Do you know shires. who are the two on the blue roans? The blue roan horses? The blue what, sorry? Blue roan Looks like we oh, walked back in on uh, black faces, black legs, black some crazy body. shit going on. Oh, uh, kind of like mine. Um, maybe they're friends. I believe uh, the all, there's there's a man named Mech. I don't know about the second one. Alright, what do, uh, do, do you know if they have anything to do with uh, Ford and Sons? Uh, I believe they've had issues with, I don't believe, direct connections. Because, right, uh, something happened with one of them, but I'm not sure. Um, so, uh, do, do you like your brother very much? No, I, I just told you, I'd love to kill my brother, I fucking oh, hate perfect, him. perfect, because I'm perfect. probably gonna do it. <laughs> Go for gold, I will uh, not come for you, I will have no problems with you. He's the reason I have eye patch, and he's the reason I almost bled right. to death back in my life. we're obviously not gonna be hurting you. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna be doing anything, but if, uh, if we do let you go, and you guys do do something, or something magically happens after this encounter, then I am going to hunt you down. Oh, fair enough. I, I, I feel like this is just a little bit of misunderstanding, but I hope Probably that I can help you. Just mom put my gun away. I appreciate uh, you may taking I the time put to my hands uh, down. You know, uh, here, here, here is out. I just want to make something real clear. So hear me out. My name's Ethan Colt, and I protect my people like I protect my family. I'm sure y'all can understand that some circumstance of the same. Okay, yeah. there, Ruby. Sure, that sure. Right, so if anything oh, ever happens just, uh, again, old relations. or any cult name be brought right. up in a mischievous fucking way by anybody you're affiliated with, I'm gonna have a big fucking you know. problem with that, and I will, I will bend heaven and hell to fucking find you. Alright, I understand. We are crystal clear on that, I assume. <laughs> no, crystal <laughs> clear. Alright, then let's fucking funny. drink. Alright, may I please put my hands down? You you're good to go. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, 
I uh, met this uh, fellow here, Nolan, actually, earlier on. You talk to you outside, sir. I've been uh, oh, just wait. showing him uh, Miss yeah, Valentine. It's a very nice outfit. Uh, what, sorry? Uh, very nice outfit. Well, thank you, miss. Of course. One. Uh, I think uh, maybe he have uh, some mutual interest. You know what we were talking about earlier on? Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, uh, he might be uh sort of person interested in uh, helping with those jobs. Yeah, you'll have to talk to uh, the uh, the man setting it up or Ethan once he gets back from doing whatever he is doing, which I don't know because nobody communicates with me. All right, okay. I will go get some new clothes. Thank you. <laughs> and if it is a misunderstanding, I apologize. But if not, you already know. I, well, I mean, you know, four people walk in and some have guns pointed at well, not pointed at, at me, but guns at what reason do I have to lie? Yeah, yeah. We're, we're reasonable, so once you explained, we understood. Well, I'm just glad we're on the same page, so to speak. Mm -hmm. I still like your vest, though. I know, I really like the red one, but everybody wears red, you gotta, so... You gotta get different pants, though, it's clashing. Ah, oh, but it, there's no, no pants gotta, I like. I'm very picky. Silver or black? Silver or black? You or know you, how it goes. Uh, you silver could get or both black. like mm -hmm. mine. Definitely silver, but silver or black. Mm, I suppose I can take a look. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Not really a fancy man per se, you know. Don't well, really it doesn't go have to... to be fancy, but you got to do silver or black. The 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 blue and the blue just doesn't work. Mm, da, da, they are okay. different shades. We're leaving. Not not gonna. Oh, okay. Uh, she wants to get new clothes. What is it, a demon in having a shop all the goddamn time? Is that her right there? She's barely, no, it's not her. No, anyway. She's barely moving her dress. Miguel, sorry for all that. Oh, uh, oh Miguel, no problem, no problem. Who, me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, right, let's sit over here then. Now come with us, Nolan. Alright. Where we're we going? Uh, just over here to uh, to talk, you know. I right, no problems. Let's go. Okay, so uh, what uh, is it? It kind of sounds like uh, maybe uh, all of us have something in common we were wanting to do. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, like, uh, you know, the um, banks and that kind of thing. That's our speciality, so. Well, yeah, uh, I'm interested in that shit. Yeah, Nolan and uh, myself as well. Like, uh, I want to be around maybe uh, much longer today if you catch my drift, but. Uh, yeah, I understand. Wanted to uh, throw my uh, sombrero in the ring, so to speak. Well. Honestly, you uh, you've been around, been a good gentleman to to communicate with today, Mr. Sanchez. So, yeah, I, I think already, maybe we uh, might be able to work I already have the best, right? Yeah, you already have one there. <laughs> but we just don't let anyone in, and when you win, you win it for each and every one of them, you know? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yep. Yeah, so, everybody has each other's back, no matter what. No value of life is over anyone else. No. Understood. You think about that for a day or so, and then you let one of us know. You find one of us. All right? The shadows. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we spoke to them. You interested they too, then. Yeah, I'm not sure, but they denied it, so we let him yeah, know. He gave us a description of his brother, so. Well, come over here real quick. Let them take their business. All right, off the same to you as well. Take your time. Think about what I just said. If you can meet that to a T. Then we might be able to further our conversation. This isn't just a good old boy club where we just bring in anyone, right? You got to be good, dynamic fit. Make sure you're available. Like, make sure your gun's always plumbed and ready to fire. For and sure. You have everyone's back above anything, even your own. Yeah, I got you, man. I got you. Because I'll tell you what, we fucking got a lot. We get a lot of grief out here from people, so. <laughs> well, fuck them. Yeah. You but you know we always keep our word. That's our biggest thing. Our word is our bond. We say we're gonna do something, we're gonna do it. We say we ain't, we ain't. 
If you tell someone they can walk away, they get to walk away. I, I understand. That's where honor comes from. I was uh, telling Nolan here about the way I uh, I have operated for, well, all of my life since I was uh, in Mexico. And, uh, the story behind my hat, I, I think I mentioned it to you earlier, Ethan. Yes, you did. Well, uh, there is a, a reason that I operate the way I do, because uh, the man who I take this hat from, he, uh, he and I share this uh, same theory. It is uh, Omerta. It's an Italian way of thinking. Uh, the mafiosi over there use uh, they use this term to uh, to say. Basically, uh, I will I will tell you the same that I just told uh, Nolan here. But uh, yeah, whoever appealed to the law against his fellow man is either a fool or a coward. Whoever cannot take care of himself without that law is both. For a wounded man shall say to his assailant, "If I live, I will kill you. If I die, you are forgiven." Such is the rule of honor. And this like is the that. words I live by. It uh, resonates with me as well, Miguel. I, uh, I say that, you know, I take, uh, I take action on my own. And, uh, you know, if, uh, if something needs to be done, I don't go to the law to get it done. You know what I mean? I do. Completely, yeah. But sometimes it's all about doing the right thing in the time as well. Just like the other night, I was riding back from, like, coming through uh, Emerald Ranch back here to town. And I came, I uh, heard a bunch of gunshots up on one of those those buttes out south of town here, right? I rode yeah. up there, and there's some this lady trying to find deputies, and there's fucking officers down all over the place. Found a million, uh, Mr. Bo Carter. He's apparently a detective here, and uh, put him on back of my horse, dropped him off at the hospital here, and he got the treatment he needed, and he's all right. But you know, any other day he'd be on the opposite end of my barrel. And well, that particular moment, you know, found myself in a supportive role for him. So, yeah. I mean, it's the same thing, right? Exactly. You know, uh, like I say earlier as well, you know, I treat everybody the way I want to be treated myself. But uh, yeah, golden rule, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. If those people are, uh, you know, to turn on me or, uh, you know, somebody find a way to uh, to get on the bad side of me, then, yeah, they yeah. will know that uh, Omerta is the way I live. Well, that's very fascinating. I appreciate you sharing that with me. Yeah, no problem. So, uh... I think, you know, people should know this about me. It's important. What's on your mind, Nolan? I don't think I've uh, got gotten your name, sir. My name's Ethan Cole. Ethan Cole. Nice to yep. meet you. I'm an outlaw for the state of New Alexandria, apparently, so I ain't even supposed to be in any of these towns, so. It's amazing. What you get when you fuck people over, especially the law, it's amazing what they take back. So, uh, Mr. Ethan, you run some kind of gang or something? I run the cults. Collective group of people that are looking to get rich. Or die trying. Yeah. I see, I see. Yeah, we got a particular set of skills. <laughs> and we got some real good hardworking folks involved with it, too. That's really nice to hear. Loyalty is second to none. But everybody gets their equal share out of everything we do. And we are busy. Ah, uh, that's good. Because uh, the uh, the people I was with before, you know, we were planning for a long time, but never uh, never got to try this uh, this job that I was wanting to do. Yeah. But, yeah, uh, for sure. I feel like you guys uh, ever do bank robberies before? No. Nope. Yeah, they're, they're interesting. Yeah, I figure you know maybe uh, the first time it, it might be worth you know being on the outside of the the thing you know whilst other people are doing the uh, the heavy lifting inside you know uh, yeah. being a, a person to watch from the outside, and then when uh, you know deputies and that kind of thing show up. Maybe uh, I'm the person who go and intervene behind them, put the uh, double barrel shotgun to the back of the head and say, uh, you stay where you are, you let these people move, or I blow your head off. Yeah, that seems to do it. Biggest thing lately, like we are all out there by that big old tree just uh, west of Blackwater the other night, four of us were, we just got done gallivanting in town out there. 
And then next thing we know, we got a whole fucking slew. I think it was about seven white hats rolled up on us. And uh, we had a conversation. Uh, Mr. Rada, my constituent that I, talk, I spoke to you about before, I had mentioned that uh, basically, well, to make a long story short, he had a lengthy record, right? So we all kind of do at this point. Shit, I got over $1.9,000 in, in fucking fines for the state of New Alexandria, so for the Holy country and shit. shit. Yep. Yeah. Good luck on me paying that back. Fuck you. But anyway, we uh we bothered him to get an early, like a lesser sentence, and we had the undersheriff give us five hundred dollars to top it all off. Seems nice. Yeah, we don't mess around, so. So when are you guys like planning on doing this this hit? Well, we do hits all the time, man. So it's all about just kind of being flexible and organic or whatever they call it and moving around the state, taking a look and see what the fuck's going on and where. Because once you get an idea where one deputy is, they tend to always flock together, so. Mm -hmm. I'm watching movement is a big thing. Yep. Yeah, yeah, I got you. This is good. We're getting into also, some really tasty uh, stuff already with Miguel. It's not too fine, <laughs> but I expect with you two, if you happen to see one of the uh, cults being hogtied by somebody, you will have no hesitation. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, well, of course, uh, unless it's one of my friends, because we hog tie each other all the time. Friends hog tie each other. Uh, just practice. But if it's a deputy or so on, you know what you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. For I sure. was just uh, just saying to Ethan, you know, if uh, on the first time, if people didn't want me inside, you know, helping, then uh, I'm happy enough to uh, to come around the back of uh, any deputies that might show up at the uh, the scene and. Uh, you What's know, the point doing? <laughs> point the shotgun. Oh, what the hell? All right, sounds good. Oh, it's so oh Jesus hot. Christ! What? <laughs> he I came mean, all the way over here just to do that. Over here, just to fucking hip check you. Well, damn. The whole spot over here just. Yeah, here. so I think that might be a good idea. But like I said, I want you to take a nod on it, understand what the ask is, and see if that's gonna work for you or not. Because once you in it, you in it. Yeah, no, I understand. And this job, this 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 way of life will get you killed, make you wanted, bring unnecessary attention to you at any moment. Help! Somebody! Ethan himself has been uh, banished from all towns for two days. Jesus. Yep. Help! Help! Get out of here, horse. Uh, any get, questions? Bro, get. Get. No, not from me. Alright then. Well, like I say, I'm, uh, I think I'm going to go and lie my head down, actually. I'm getting kind it's of tired. It's been a long but, day. Uh, Understand. Yeah, a lot of writing. <laughs> well, I appreciate you all very much. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. And, uh, yeah, it was good to, uh, good to meet everybody. And, uh, Absolutely. like I say, I will, uh, I will think about it and, uh, oh, yeah, shit, I, will, uh, I will let you know in, uh, in a day or so. I'm sure. That sounds great. We're often out here, but we're never in one place for too long, so and there's yeah. a reason for that. You can always send me a telegram if you'd like. Ethan Colt's my name. With the T at the end, right? Yep, C-O-L-T. All right. You like the weapon? I see, yeah. Yeah, I got you. All right, sounds and, uh, good, gentlemen. I'm Miguel Sanchez, the full name, so yeah, if you yep. need to uh, get a hold of me in uh, other ways, yeah, you can uh, do the same. Understandable. I'm Nolan Price. And Nolan Price. Name speaks for itself, pretty much. Yeah, that's easy enough. Oh, he's coming over again. He's coming over again. Bro, this is fucking boring. Come on, get out of here. What the hell are you doing? Dancing. Yeah. I think she was born in a puddle. Just look out. He uh, he's still a little bit mad there, but I've tethered him up now to the uh, to the yeah. ground there. Good call there. Uh, thanks, Mr. Sanchez. Yeah, hey, no problem, no problem. Well, Ruby, Jesse, y'all ready to get out of here? Ready when you are. Yeah, we've been here for a minute. 
All right, I will. Uh, why, why is Lucius? I will speak to uh, you both. Uh, well, all of you, hopefully, in the next day or two. Look forward to hearing from you, Mr. Sanchez, Mr. Price. You guys take great care. Stay healthy and upright, please. Will do. Don't worry. Yep. Yeah. I'm gonna go and get uh, myself a little bit of sleep here. What's All she right. Going? Sleep well. I'm gonna go make some money. If you need it. Just, uh, send it. That's a good little night, I think. It's coming up to um, twenty to one now, so I think we'll uh, we'll call it a little bit earlier than than planned. Um, but yeah. It's good to uh Easy there. Good to meet some peeps um and uh find some people that are like minded that wanted to do uh, a bank robbery as well. <laughs> um And yeah, I think it's definitely gonna happen as well. Um We'll, we'll still end up doing it, I dare say, with Miss Snyder and um, Doobie's character and Callahan and stuff as well. Um, but yeah, uh, it's nice to have like another group as well that we can uh, we can do the same kind of thing with. Is he, is he okay? Does he need a horse? Uh, you uh, you trying to get the horse? Yeah, my horse. All right, you uh, you have to like whistle right to the end if you know what I mean, like uh, really, really, really whistle. Yeah, but I, I just have a feeling my my horse is too far. Oh, okay, okay, right. No problem. Yeah, but uh yeah, sometime you uh you have to like really give it a you know uh and like yeah. uh there there he there he is. Yeah, I think uh, I need to go get my horse. By the way, do you know what's the best horse I can buy? Uh, well, it depends how much money you have. I would say uh, for a good horse to start with, you know, the Dark Bay Andalusian, a uh, very good horse. But you know what's the best one? The fastest? Well, that, that would be something like this fellow here, like the, the Silver Turcoman. You, uh, you can get these ones from uh, Emerald Ranch. Um, so Emerald Ranch, if you go, uh, you have to go like kind of southeasterly direction, like uh, basically over that way there. Uh, but yeah, he, um, they have a, they have a good selection of horses there, um, but they are expensive. So, uh, like I say, for the time being, maybe uh, you know, I think you can buy the Dark Bay Andalusian for about thirty-five dollars, something like this, and he's a good horse, you know. Will do you well and it doesn't scare too easy like uh this deo here he uh he's silver turkoman but he can get a uh, little bit uh pissy around uh predators sometimes and uh yeah he uh <laughs> he kind of kick out sometimes as well but um the dark bay andalusian is a good horse okay. yeah all right i'll keep that in mind but i need to be like i think i'm gonna have to rob a horse and go get my own horse Oh yeah, you can probably take one from uh, from the stables or uh, you know from from somebody who uh, one of the locals in town. Um, but yeah, the, if you have like thirty five dollars at the moment, you like I say the the best one would be like the the Dark Bay Andalusian there. I think yeah, you I can get a I think you can get it from the stables here. I I don't have that that kind of money at the moment. That's what that's probably why. Oh right, okay, okay, I see what you mean. Uh, yeah, so, um but, uh, but I'll, I'll keep that horse in, uh, in mind. Yeah, probably a good thing to uh like just borrow one like they say. But uh, yeah, uh 
area. Uh, you have to be careful that uh, it's not uh, somebody else's horse already, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, of course. I don't want any white hats on me. No, exactly, exactly. Uh, yeah, when you when you take it from the local, do it a little bit outside of town. In fact, uh, I think maybe a couple are uh, coming this way right now. Yeah, I see, I see. Yeah, they uh, they tend to walk fairly slowly, so uh, yeah, just uh, yeah, it you should know. be it should be easy. Hmm. Oh. 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 Hey, you better stop that right now. <laughs> Hello there. I've been plenty patient with you. Stable our horse again. This guy is coming for him. <laughs> yeah, I think we'll um we'll st we'll stay here tonight in roads and then um we'll be ready to get up um in roads in Valentine. <laughs> I'm thinking as if I'm uh, as if I'm um playing as Cliff right now. Um but yeah, we'll we'll stay the night here in Valentine. And, um yeah, then we'll hopefully meet up again with those guys, the Colts, um, in the next uh, in the next couple days. Uh, let's just shut the door here in the back. Oh, why did it have to fucking open itself as well? Um, right, let's take we'll take this back room here. Oh, it used to be able to like kind of push that shut with your head when you crouch but you can't apparently um right so as i say i think um ordinarily i would like stay on and, and go for a bit longer but it's nearly um we're coming up to about yeah like quarter to one now um and the server's going to start like thinning out a little bit towards the uh towards the restart so um yeah we'll um We'll log ourselves off and um, we'll host. Um, we'll host probably Zahara. Um, but uh, yeah, good guy KFC plays Kojak. Um, he was the guy that we, the people that I'm with um, or that I was with today were like um, pointing a gun at. <laughs> if you see what I mean when we came into the uh, came into the place, but. Um, came into the saloon earlier on, but yeah, it's been a good little night of RP, um, and uh, yeah, full of uh, full of twists and turns. We've found a new group that um, Miguel can do some bank robberies with, and yeah, some more bandit street kind of stuff, and like, um, yeah, we're um, we can have a little a uh, little bit of a fun time with that, um, and like I say, like we will still do it with. Um, Callahan and Doobie's character, um, Casper Black and um, Miss Snyder, Chansey's character. We'll do the we'll do the robberies and stuff with, um, but um, we'll um, that might be down the line when um, when everyone's a little bit more um, available again. Because I know Doobie's had some problems, I think, with his internet and um, uh, Cuda's sort of in and out of. Um, being able to RP and stuff at the moment for various reasons and, and whatnot. So, um, yeah, no one was really at a point where we could sort of commit to doing the robbery, if you see what I mean, the group that we were in. Um, but yeah, um, it's been a good night of, uh, of RP nonetheless with that, with these peeps. And, um, yeah, Miguel might have found himself another little group of people and it's ironic that we should, um, we should be wearing the vest that they're already wearing, if you see what I mean, as part of our standard sort of Miguel look, if you see what I mean. Um, but yeah, what I'll do, we'll, um, we'll open up, uh, we'll open up a window and, um, see if we can't get, uh, someone oh 
can, can swap it onto my other monitor that is Let's see if we can't get someone to host or uh, or raid um, so that I can pass uh, peeps that are watching over to uh, to someone else that we follow and um, enjoy the RP of but yeah it's a lot of fun um, I like the little trip as well that we had up to um, to the native lands and stuff um, up to Wapiti um, do 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 Skoog is on but I'd like I'd rather give the host to someone like a little bit smaller um, or who hasn't got as many people watching if you see what I mean at the moment um, so that we can yeah, spread the love or whatever because um, Skook nearly always has like 20 30 people watching anyway so it's, it's not gonna make a huge difference but it um, doesn't look like Zahara is on at the moment unless she's got a big host come in or something like that I can't see her so we'll um, throw you over to uh, Zan the third um, who is uh, playing Aloysius um, slash Pete Corvus um, he's a bit of a con man so um, yeah he uh, he's an interesting guy to watch I dare say um, let me um, let me just load up my own channel and mute it so that we don't get like a repeat of about three million times of my own voice like flooding your speakers to the point where you go like ah! <laughs> throw your headset across the room <laughs> um, so we will do raid Zan the third T slash so if you go and oh if you go and hit him up and give him some Yoda love if you've got it. Otherwise um yeah just show him some love of any variety that you have. And um, yes, tell them that we sent you. And um, I will see everybody tomorrow because we're going to do some more. As I say, we're going to try and get on earlier as well. So I'm going to try and get on for the, like the five past seven restart my time, um, so that we can uh, we can get that going. Um, but yeah, I will um, I will leave you with Zan and um, hope you enjoy the night with him and um, what he has to offer. And yeah, drop him a follow, drop him some love, drop him some uh, Yoda love in the raid and we will see you tomorrow. Take care everyone. I don't really feel like being around the Valentine right now anyway, so... I understand. So I was just gonna ride along here and try to...